game night. That's a bullseye. How about three times? I'm just waiting for a challenger. I need mine. Yeah, they gon' sit and watch. Haters do not want to smoke. They gon' play the sidelines while we strive to be the goal. Yeah, they gon' sit and watch. Haters do not want to smoke. They gon' play the sidelines while we strive to be the goal. I'm talking back then, we used to rock out on the cell phone. Facebook Live got you and stuck just like it's Velcro. You see it's growing, I can do this by myself, though. Perfect game with it, little shoulder and some elbow. Get sit and watch us do it. Straight out the basement, now it's on the TV, you can view it. You go against the team that I'm with and you surely lose it. We don't respect the talking, we from where you gotta prove it. Someone turn up the music. We love the competition, we gon' rock out till we finish. Josh Apparel with the jersey, time to get the fitting. They boosting up my adrenaline anytime I'm winning. I lock in, I don't lose focus, the target, I'ma hit Get it. your aim right, get your game right. Watch me cut up on this hat trick, it's game night. That's a bullseye, how about three times? I'm just waiting for a challenger, I need mine. Yeah, they gon' sit and watch, haters do not want to smoke. They gon' play the sidelines while we strive to be the goal. Yeah, they gon' sit and watch, haters do not want to smoke. They gon' play the sidelines while we strive to be the goal. Y'all, free a ball, we took all the smoke, they know who we are. Best not jump the gun with me, it's like coming out of a moving car. I come through and set the same confident like movie stars. Put this on the movie screen so they can replay this tomorrow. Jay Customs, come put him work and he gon' turn it up. Made a name and now we bout to put a claim on what we want. I cannot be stopped, I catch a body if it's one-on-one I make this my hobby, they cannot tell me what can't be done Shout out Ricky, we up in the club, it's going down If anybody wanna run it, let me know it now From Michigan to anywhere, we coming through your town I'm on a mission, who's the best, I gotta take them out Get your aim right, get your game right Watch me cut up on this hat trick, it's game night That's a bullseye, how about three times I'm just waiting for a challenger, I need mine yeah, they gon' sit and watch, haters do not want to smoke They gon' play the sidelines while we strive to be the goal Yeah, they gon' sit and watch, haters do not want to smoke They gon' play the sidelines while we strive to be the goal Yeah, it's your boy Kick and Flay And I'm rockin' with MDC Much love, Josh, I appreciate the opportunity, fam And as always, said I'm out, y'all Yeah, 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 yeah. Hope you got your aim right. Hope you got your aim right. Cause we came in this game time. MTC, yo. Get your aim right, get your game right. Watch me cut up on this hat trick, it's game night. That's a bullseye. How about three times? I'm just waiting for a challenger, I need mine. Yeah, they gon' sit and watch, haters do not want to smoke They gon' play the sidelines while we strive to be the goal Yeah, they gon' sit and watch, haters do not want to smoke They gon' play the sidelines while we strive to be the goal I'm talking back then, we used to rock out on the cell phone Facebook Live got you and stuck just like this Velcro You see it's growing, I can do this by myself though Perfect game with it, little shoulder and some elbow Get sit and watch us do it, straight out the basement Now it's on the TV, you can view it You go against the team that I'm with and you surely lose it We don't respect the talking, we from where you gotta prove it Someone turn up the music, we love the competition We gon' rock out till we finish Josh Apparel with the jersey, time to get the fitting They boosting up my adrenaline anytime I'm winning I lock in, I don't lose focus, the target, I'ma hit Get it. your aim right, get your game right Watch me cut up on this hat trick, it's game night That's a bullseye, how about three times? I'm just waiting for a challenger, I need mine Yeah, they gon' sit and watch, haters do not want to smoke They gon' play the sidelines while we strive to be the goal Yeah, they gon' sit and watch, haters do not want to smoke They gon' play the sidelines while we strive to be the goal Y'all, free ball, we took all the smoke, they know who we are Best not jump the gun with me, it's like coming out of a moving car I come through and set the scene, confident like movie stars Put this on the movie screen so they can replay this tomorrow Jay Customs, come put him work and he gon' turn it up Made a name and now we bout to put a claim on what we want I cannot be stopped, I catch a body if it's one-on-one I made this my hobby, they cannot tell me what can't be done Shout out Ricky, we up in the club, it's going down If anybody wanna run it, let me know it now 
From Michigan to anywhere we coming through your town. I'm on a mission. Who's the best? I gotta take them out. Get your aim right. Get your game right. Watch me cut up on this hat trick. It's game night. That's a bullseye. How about three times? I'm just waiting for a challenger. I need mine. Yeah, they gon' sit and watch. Haters do not want to smoke. They gon' play the sidelines while we strive to be the goal. Yeah, they gon' sit and watch. Haters do not want to smoke. They gon' play the sidelines while we strive to be the goal. It's your boy King and Flay. And I'm rocking with MDC. Much love, Josh. I appreciate the opportunity, fam. And as always, sit on our job. What up, what up? What's happening out there, everybody? We're uh, just getting uh, about to get underway here, probably just about right on. Hey, don't forget to turn the green light on the live box, too, please. Getting started here. These guys are uh, getting ready to start the play-in matches. We got a good field out there today. Great field, actually. We got 10, uh, 10 players here today and uh, a couple of faces we've seen before, but maybe not as often as some others. So we got uh, the GOAT back in the building today. JJ and sure Denny do. back after a long trip. Chris Swanson making a little drive. Kim Wallace, first timer. So... Some of the regulars as well, too. Day Day Sloan and Tom in the building. Meatball back in action. So we uh It's gonna be a good night. We're rocking. We're looking forward to it. We're hoping we get a get a chance to see maybe a dart at that nine darter. There is a nice three hundred dollar bounty out there today if somebody can pick that off along the way. So looking forward to uh some good darts tonight, bring you guys some action. Did see if you guys did see the little contest on the uh with the picture with the new dart case. If you wanna comment before we get started today and guess your winner and uh like and share like like and share get the get the share the stream out there shared a little bit so you just got to like and share the stream guess your winner and uh put the number of total ton 80s you think we'll see today for your tiebreaker and uh let's have a little fun with that five free entries with some great prizes this month matter of fact we'll show you those real quick before we get rocking sounds good you see the uh, the big deal and put, replace the uh, the live stream for the this next month. We wanted to do something different, and uh, we got the uh, custom ring that's going to be your design, what you choose, and uh, you work with Jaime from Jay's Custom Arts, and uh, he'll whip something up for you. We got a, some of our other stuff too. Uh, Josh doing the two jerseys, I believe, and uh, we got the gift card, a couple of the new hats, still. Uh, another lamp out there so oh yeah some good uh giveaways this month a lot of fun stuff to win you can uh can win that so maybe even then just off the five free entries so it might be worth your while to yeah take a guess today and give it a like and do share all that but some of these guys drove pretty far to be here our ohio guys down there drove about what three hours i think it is about yeah. three hours for them from mansfield so uh, chris I think swanson it, had a hike uh kim yeah. did as well yeah so. even tom still always at 50 yeah. minutes you know yeah. so Oh, yeah. It's, Show uh, these guys some love tonight. Yeah, I look forward to it. So, All right. People are chiming in with their guesses. Yeah. If you could, it's a lot easier to track them. Out. I'll try to find them on here, but if you could put them on the, on the post that had the um, that had the dark case posted with it, if you could put them in there in the comments, just uh, just your winner and um, your winner and how many ton 80s you think will be totally total thrown today. And uh, don't forget to share the stream to make uh, make that eligible. And uh, hopefully uh, somebody picks off those five free entries. Oh, Rocky yeah. got the three yesterday, uh, picked uh, 13, 13 hat tricks. He did get the 13? It was the 13. I, right, I didn't perfect. see it because it, I, when I hit all comments, it came up. It came it up, most okay. Re most relevant. I oh, yeah. Over it, so. I love when it does that. Yeah. You think you're reading everything and you're missing some great stuff. Yeah. So <laughs> what do we got here? Was, Looks uh, like these guys are getting started. We got the wrong names up here. We sure do. He's coming right out looking for um, it. Are, are both boards going? Should we put it on split screen so we yeah. can make sure everything's updated? Let's do it. busy chatting away with you and uh, not even paying attention. Looks like uh, none of these names are right. 
So, so J- uh, Ward 1 will have uh, Day Day and JJ. Get those names straightened out in the booth there. Sorry about that, guys. We got everyone set up now. wonder if they remember to put the little lights on the uh, back bar back there. What up, Brownie Mac? What up, Cat? Hope you guys are having a good night out there. What up, Rocky? Yeah, pre- sorry if uh, Scott, hope you're uh, having a good slow. night. Scott Swanson. A little slow with the comments here on my, on my side. I uh, use them reading them there. Was I see Ronnie, Cat, and... Rocky. What's up, Perry? Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. These guys are getting started. So it looks like uh, Day Day and JJ have uh, started off over here. JJ's looking at a uh, double 20 out. Day Day's scoring pretty well. If he could get a break here. Yep, both of them are shooting well right now. Day Day does have a, an out with that 131. And that is game one. Yep, this is game one for both of them. Let's see if JJ takes this and uh, takes the first win. So Dede is going to have ten. a shot. Yeah, Dede gets a look at this 131. All right, thanks. Thanks, brother. All righty, get our. Uh, Josh, um, getting everything in hopefully order we for didn't us. Mi- hopefully, we didn't miss any 180s. Don't think we did, but uh, if, let us know if we did, if please. If we did, yeah. If you guys saw about Katie, let us know. We were uh, Josh was doing some adjustments, getting this. The... Marco? Well, oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought that earlier, though. That's the only reason I knew the that's answer. That's hilarious. So. Never mind. <laughs> oh, that's great. All right. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. What are you guys doing on this Saturday night? Yeah. Got a little chilly out there. All right, JJ's looking at double two now, and he gets it. So that's the first win in the books for anybody there, and we'll see Day-Day start off on that board one. Yep, and uh, this will be loser start like always, right? Yeah, and you you should see a lot more holds today. I think of this, especially without having the double in, you, you, you know. I agree. Michael Boone, what's up? What's up, Michael Boone? Hope you're having a good Saturday night out there. Thanks for the like, Mark. Make sure you give the stream a like and a share, and uh, yep. Predict uh, in the comments who are uh, in the uh, guess comments. your winner. Yep, Who's guess your win winner. Today we listed the whole. Uh, there's a the post uh, we put up earlier has the whole list of all the player names, and then uh, you just got to pick the number of ton 80s you see in today's event. You think we'll see, and uh, that'll be your tiebreaker. And, uh, Let's hear what you got. Somebody got five free entries with the chance to win the. Usually it's ten prizes. I think we. Uh, yeah, it'll be a good uh, giveaway this month. We like we're uh, pushing it up, so we did uh, add that steel tip board with the ring that will be customized. And Kim takes that uh, first set on board two. Arthur, thanks for the like out there. What up, Art? What up, Shane? Georgie, what up, George Lane? What's happening, George? Ronnie's relaxing in the recliner, watching the uh, 70 inch TV. I like it. Nothing better to do on a Saturday night. We got our UK Mark checking in all the way from the UK on a Saturday night. What's up, Mark? Probably doing probably a little, uh, Sunday morning. Yes, yeah, Sunday morning. Or by late, now. 
late Saturday for him. A big score from Day Day over there with the one, two, three. Great shot from Day. And this is a open in double out split bowl. Yep. Race to six, single elimination. And we see our first ton 80 of the night. There it is. From JJ. Oh, it went on both boards, though. It did. Well, it might as well. Because we'll, uh, it, it's an overall count for all boards. Oh, today. yeah. He probably set it he up. He probably to do that. did. He He's did. Smart. <laughs> He's already ahead. It's an overall count, so not a board count. So, J.J. with the first ton 80. I like it. Day Day still motoring right in there in that leg, though, with a little ways back, though. Actually, uh, actually J.J.'s not messing around here at he 47 definitely points is not. per dart. Well, thanks for the uh, comment, Goat. I appreciate, appreciate it. Appreciate you, Goat. We, we uh, just try to keep up with that quality play down there. We expect from all you big dogs in the house tonight. Oh, yeah. I got to say, everyone did a great job with the parking today, man. We can't they even did. tell. We got we got 13 cars on the block. We're tucked away everywhere. And, yeah. Uh, Looks like uh, no one's here. We're going to have to find out total time traveled for players today because with it, with the total amount of driven time, even with our couple of locals, there's uh, quite a bit. I there would is. Say. There's a quite a bit. What's and up, Andy? Andy's in, back in. How are you doing out there, girl? Happy Saturday, babe. Up over All the right. 50 viewer mark, so hopefully uh, that's from everybody out there getting it shared and uh, moving the stream around this Saturday night. We appreciate y'all. Yeah, we appreciate it. Thank you, guys. JJ took that to uh, go up 2-0 on Day Day right now. Tim Wallace with the first start, trip 20, putting himself in a good spot in game two versus Denny. Yep, he's going to have the first look at an out. Yep, it's a big turn for Denny here. Thanks for the like, Brian. Brent just noticed the empty crock pot. We are going to order some big, a big order of chicken wings tonight, though. We just uh, didn't get around to cooking today, yep. so there will be food. I was, uh, I was definitely lacking, but we're, there will definitely be food. We got a, uh, we're going to do happies, and uh, we'll probably order that after these first couple of playing rounds start to get played. And Kim snags a double one instead of a double twenty. It was a good look at it, though. No out on one five nine though. So he is safe. Yep, not for double out. What up, X? Thanks for the like. Hope you're having a good Saturday. So up out there, X? Brian's got uh, Denny and JJ. I like it. Yeah, remember to try to, if you think about it, just uh, on the post from earlier this morning with the dark case, just try to put your predictions in over there. They're way easier to sort through. And don't forget to guess your number of ton 80s. So Kim sneaks into a 2-0 lead. He sure does. And it looks like JJ's done the same. It's I will say time. in some of these singles tournaments, we do see some lopsided scores in the opening rounds. Oh, yeah. It, it seems like sometimes that, that first player to settle in. Come sneaking back. What's up, Cody? He said, wish I could have made it. Great competition, great people and venue. You Appreciate know you're you, brother. Welcome. Yeah, yeah, we definitely always got a spot for you. So uh, we... Uh, it was just kind of something we was thinking about. Reached out to the, the crew there, and uh, he said you guys weren't going to be able to make it this week, but we'll definitely get you back soon and uh, look forward to that because it's always a good time. So, What's up, Ryan Carey? Hope you're having a good night out there. All right, so we got 2-0 JJ and 2-0 uh, Kim. Let's uh, hear some predictions. Who do you guys think uh, is taking these sets? There's a big turn from Day Day. To nice shot from Day. JJ could still leave himself first look at the out here, but if you're Day Day, you got to kind of like your spot. You definitely don't want to see a 180 from, from JJ, though, if you're. Uh... What's up, Randy? Thanks for the like. Ryan Carey, my man, what's happening? Joel says 22 10 80s. Mike Francisco says getting the game back. He's got to make it back up soon. Uh, we would look forward to that. Mike, we, Mike's been in before. Made the made the trip up uh, with Greg. Nice. Came up for a lock one night. It actually shot really great the night he pulled up here. And Andrew says needs to get up there sometimes. So we definitely like to to get yeah. new faces on the boards. Always like and, new faces. Uh, 
we realize that we're not the closest for everybody, but you know, for some guys, there's drinking and driving's an issue. There's a hotel right down there the street, sure you know, it's per relatively cheap, and we even pick you guys up over there if we had to. It's only a mile away, so always have someone to drive you back over there. Yep, yep. We definitely keep some drivers on deck around here. What's up, Andrew? Thanks for the like. So Dady's looking to take this 96 out. Trip 20, first dart goes a long way. Stay there for a shot at double eight. Probably 51 now. John says he's close to the club tonight. I, oh, you're at Bubba's. I saw you were at Bubba's. I didn't realize it. You must be. You're the one right there on uh, Eureka. And Denny takes that 32. Oh, one, a big 103 out. Nice shot. Get himself on the board. So good job by Denny Garn there. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I'm pointing at the wrong button. <laughs> yeah. Trying to mess you up over here. Is, is that right, John? You're. At, I saw I saw the check-in for the dinner, and I, I he was at Bubba's sure. 33s, but I didn't look at which, town, Which one? But he said he's right by the club, so oh, it must cool. be right down the street. Nice. Yeah, yeah, that's a good spot. I go, I go there a lot. They were uh, real active with all the the Taylor with the Taylor North baseball and stuff. They did a bunch of fundraisers, so I've been there a ton of times. And uh, awesome, I, it's a good spot. A big up, turn for Dana Man? here, so he's probably going to be looking at this fifty-seven. What up, Gordon and Patricia? Fifty-seven from a double six. 18 for 32. One dart at the double to get on the board and pull within one, and he gets it. Good shot, Day Day. Nice shot from Day. Puts himself on the board. I love how even these uh, scores are so far. Nice. John says these hotel. He's in the area for the night. You guys doing some gambling down here downtown? Is that what's going on, or just what uh what's happening? I like to hear gambling stories. I've been getting. I know. <laughs> <laughs> we were just watching poker a little earlier. <laughs> Ice man, what's happening, brother? Happy Saturday to you. What up, Randall? Gordon and Patricia are in the house. So still just the one buck eighty as the yep, players are starting so to find their rhythm here. We got some uh, good guys in the lineup tonight. Some of the ones you aren't seeing on there's uh, Josh Howard, Meatball, Pax, Pax. Who else we Chris got? Chris Swanson there? and Tom Keller. Yep, and we did say the goat earlier too. Yep. So the goat is here. It's race and then to the four you see on the screen. Scott Swanson asks, "Is it race to five? It's race to six. Race to six today. So um, single to six, elimination. Yep. So that's all you got. It's like hey, you, we we like the single elimination. It moves kind of quick and uh, keeps it exciting. So we do try to go to at least to six. I, I, we almost switched it to seven because it was all a one, but I said, eh, let's just let's just stick with six. That's what we always do. Still the potential for a lot of games. Oh, it really is. Eleven in yep. a set, you know. And it still will remain the, the oh, look at there's a buck 80. Day -day puts one on. Nice. Nice ton 80 from day. So both the ton 80s for the match coming off of So it's just that top one. That okay. So we're up to two now. So both ton 80s coming off a of board one so far. JJ with one, Day Day with the other. And Day Day picked a great time to get his. He sure did. Because he just won the last game, and he could potentially have the first look at an out and a chance to tie it up here against a really tough player. Pax did not bring the rug, Ronnie Mack. <laughs> there no, is a rug I wish. There. I wish he brought the rug. <laughs> just to see the rug and make sure the rug's doing okay. Kim's looking at this 124 out, double 11. And he gets it. What, what a, a shot, shot by Kim Wallace. One thing you won't see from Kim is mathematical errors. Kim's Never. very technical. He understands the math really well, and that's going to be an advantage for him tonight, besides the fact he can play. so He sure can. He's definitely a tough opponent today, and I think this uh, event really suits him well. He seemed really comfortable too. He was having a yeah. good time, you know. Oh, yeah. I, I thought I saw a smile. Did you? Yeah, uh, I maybe think a, maybe a, a glimpse of yeah. a smile. Definitely not in his player picture, though. Not in the player. Of course, he's not. <laughs> we do have a bracket. Maybe we could get that posted in the uh, in the link here. If uh, J Josh is probably out there listening, is that another buck eighty? Nope. Okay. Um. So that was a one, two, three. Got a little excited there. Now JJ's got a shot to go up. Uh, 
Three games to one here. He's going to have to have a triple now. So Day Day from 102 will be have a look to tie it. Danny with the first start, triple 20. On a big average, 47. Nice. Next two. Next two. We'll have that. That bracket's going to get posted uh, here in a second, Scott. We're going to get that. I haven't seen it yet today. It's, it was a little hectic yeah, before the no stream. Yeah, we have no So um, I have been yet to see it, but it, it'll get posted here real soon. The bracket is on the, uh, in the – if you look in the event that we posted earlier on the page, you can go in there and find the bracket. But it should be uh, – It'll be pinned. I think that's where Josh came to get his phone. To he said that he got it working out there now, so he uh, he's gonna keep his phone out there. Day Day does have an out though. If he goes trip twenty, he can do double eleven. Double bull shot. I don't know yeah. that double bulls the shot though necessarily. He went for it though. Probably a thirty here, trip ten. Yeah. Good leave. Bo's a little risky with two, but if he hits it, he loves that double 16. So, yeah. You know. What's up, Todd? Thanks for the like. Hope you and uh, Carrie are having a good night out there. Thanks Dan for Russell the like, makes Jeff. a good point. 42 for 40. I like that, Dan. Oh, yeah. Trip 14. Yeah. There's our steel, steel tippers chiming safer, in. Safer oh, shot yeah. with two darts for, you know, double bull such a risky dart. Looked like you gave so, him a double bowl. That's only a single bowl. They're going to fix that. JJ did take that. So he's up 3 1. Yep. What's up, Scotty? Thanks for the like. Hope you're having a good Saturday, Dan. I don't know what's going on. They, I either, they may not have split the bowl on that board. Oh, okay. Got you, John. 3-1, JJ. There's a, the hammer out there. What's going on, Dan Burke? Thanks for the like, my brother. What's up, Dan? Hope you're having a good night. He may be in Florida. He said something about some work. Uh, I, I don't know if he ended up going down there, but he was talking about maybe... Like some hurricane yeah, work, recovery with work? Some people that he knew had placed in uh, Naples, I think he said. Okay. So. I think they got that straightened out. Yeah, 107, so... Right. Hopefully, if you did make it down there safely, Dan. Yep. Hope you have a safe trip down there. Yeah, the background, uh, we, it stays on on the split screen, James. The When we go to one board, it doesn't. Yeah, it won't play it on one board. We just do it on the two because the there's no board noise because they would be going off simultaneously. So uh, we, we put the background music on the uh, behind the double screen. So Denny missed that uh, double 20, and Kim's looking to take this away from him, and he does. Kim's been pretty clutch on his out so far today, I'll say. So Kim goes up 4-1 to one on that board. There they go. They just fixed the bull. It's good because if you get a bounced out third dart that's through at the bowl and counted 50 yeah. and it wasn't split, I mean, what, you know what I mean? Like, oh, it's, yeah. you, you, that's why you can't do it because if it just happens to land on that and it's that it will land on that because it, it just that's does. just how it happens. Yeah, it's just oh, justice, yeah. you know. I agree. Guess is on total ton 80s tonight, Gary Adams that wants to know what we think. Oh, and coming up, in, GA? that's a great question, Gary, because coming in, I was thinking a really high number, but with only two so far, I would drop down and say somewhere around 19. I think I would go with 19, but I was initially thought I would have guessed closer to a 20. I'm going to guess what I picked um, yesterday, and I'm going to go with 23 again. Okay. What are you thinking out there, GA? Yeah, GA, what you got? My 23 Could, yesterday was hats, though, but I'm going to pick the same number for yeah, the Yeah, well, and there's, there's the extra round of play, and then the round of yeah. eight, and it is best of 11s. Dan goes with 15. Brandon Lee goes with eight. And this is for the whole night, too. Yeah, it's everybody's games, all the matches, and, and you know, you figure that it would heat up some. Andrew says JJ's going to have <laughs> yeah, eight by himself. I would not, I'm not surprised by that. I would not be surprised. 
I remember that first match in the in the All Star when Gary and uh, Travis played each other. There was six in that, and they were only racing to three. Oh wow! Or four, and they had like six. But the rest of the night, and it only ended up being about eighteen during the All Star Challenge. So okay. It was eighteen or nineteen. So. So JJ's looking at eighty six. And sometimes what you you'll see too with the the height. With the ton eighty count, some guys, guys, the mathematics might call them off of it and be a yeah, one seventy seven or one seventy four. So big out by JJ. Who wires the third though? Good look at it. I know Day Day knows this out. He just about took it at, at steel the other day. So let's see if he's going to go trip nineteen, trip nineteen for thirty two, or is he going to do it with the twenty and eighteen? He's definitely going to try to leave it on thirty two. I think he's going to go nineteen, nineteen. Yep, Ooh, that's where a little he was unlucky going. too, yeah. That was a great dart too. GA says seventeen. Seventeen, I like seventeen. And there's the bracket. Yep, the bracket is pinned. So the bracket is pinned for anybody who was asking. Go ahead and take a look at that and uh see what you think. So JJ does pull out from four to one here. Day Day got that all the way down to eight, but not gonna be enough. And Kim Wallace is going to shot at 73 here to take a five game to one lead over Denny Garn. So crucial round here. 14, 14 for 40. Kim's been clutch on his doubles. He, he hasn't missed it. a double yet, I don't Kim think. It feels fire. like he is really oh. throwing the doubles well. There we go. So 5 1 uh, with Kim and Denny. This is a huge game right here. Yeah, well, both these players are yeah. now playing for their tournament life. And JJ just got that, so he's. Did we mark his? Yeah, you, oh, did. you did. Yeah, yeah. You got his. Yeah. JJ's up. Yeah, JJ's up four to one. It, it's Kim that's up yep. five to one. And then Chris is down there with official score too. If we do happen to mess something up here, and we've got uh 59 great viewers out there keeping the. Keeping an eye on us, yeah, so I'm sure the scoreboard scoreboard police will let us know. And he sure will. One more from Kim. Oh, gets the single. Go look at that. That was a good round. Kim looks in on form for sure. Kim is very on form tonight. He's definitely a confident on that trip 20, and that's what you need to be in an, a, an event like this today. This is a perfect event to just... Just thump that thing all day long and hit your doubles oh, every yeah. time, you know? Yep. Thanks for the share, GA. We appreciate it. Yes, sir. So a little kink in the armor there. Let's see if Denny can still turn pretty, that into an opportunity. Yeah, still pretty evened up right there. JJ's got a little lead on Day-Day. JJ's been pretty high with the average so far today. Most is... Uh, he dropped there, right? As I say that, he is a slack round, but he's been above 35 most of the day, 30, 35 to the 40 range, and that's pretty good all the way to zero. I agree. Thanks for the like, ref. We appreciate it. Chris is down there. Up uh, over 60 viewers, so sure appreciate you guys good. getting those shares out there for us. And if you're getting the share in, you might as well get your guests in to see who wins. Don't forget to do that. Yep, guess the winner and how many uh, ton 80s there will be tonight. Ten eligible players here. There's uh, Tim Sheehan in the house. What's going on, Tim? What's up, Tim? Back and recuperated from the travels probably by now. Kim will be happy to hear you're watching him uh, play some darts right now. Day Day gets a ton there, but uh, JJ's looking at a 115. Denny's in a big spot. He sure is. There's our OG of the club, Troy Hickman. What's going on, Troy? What up, Troy? Thanks for the like out there. Norquist with the quality dad jokes. He guesses that the MDC and the viewers are the real winners, but he's telling the truth. Got that right. Easiest job in the house, right? I mean, yep. we sit here, watch stars, count ton 80s, talk about it. Long as, especially when the equipment's working good. Yes. And we got Josh. Josh is in the building. Josh so is here. You know it makes that, everything a lot nice. better. <laughs> 
So JJ gets that and goes up uh, five to one. And these scores have been evened up all night so far. What up, Travis? What's for dinner? Kim Wallace with match opportunity here. Double top. Doesn't oh, get it. Doesn't give him Maybe anything. a little excited. So Denny's he looking at this double faster. ten. Tim the Rabbit Patriot. Brian calls him. We got to get Tim back. Uh, we haven't seen Timmy in a minute. It has been a minute for Tim. Hey, I know he's out in TOC, so. Oh, I know out. He drilled that trip one, though, didn't he? He, he sure did. That double one. He threw that with smoke. So Kim, Kim does end up it. advancing. He sure does. So we will we'll get switch to, over. Uh, one board. Yeah, that's board one. That, it's wrong. Thanks for the like. So Day Day fighting for his tournament life here as he's down five games to one. He's going to have to uh, win out, well, at least four straight to get to the 13 inch side. No easy task with an opponent like JJ in front of you, but no, no reason to throw in the towel just yet either. Just get in there and keep fighting. So Kim gets the first win. Uh, Denny, he did mention he's not drinking tonight. He is the driver, so. Um... You know, just a tough match all around. I know sober darts aren't easy if you uh, if, typically do. If that's uh, not your play. normal way yeah. of playing, yeah, that's for sure. And he still shot pretty good. I mean, he was looking at outs. Kim and was Kim had fire. three big, three one, yeah. three, three three digit checkouts. I think he had three outs huge. over a hundred. So that's what I like about O one as as an event. I think that just the the mastery of taking outs. You know, just hitting big shots when when it matters. It's oh yeah. Like, Cricket, a, a real good player, could just run away and leave you in the dust. Where in 01, if you just get that one look at an out, you might have to take a real big hard out, but you can. They're doable. You're going to get an opportunity, yeah. So, congrats to Kim Wallace as our first uh, first player to advance, and he'll move into the round of eight. He sure this will. is the round of 10. These are what we deem as, I guess, the play in matches. There's, yes. Uh, there's, yep. Yeah, Aaron Dix makes a good point. He only missed one dart at a double, too. He, he literally was, Oh, yeah, Kim was on fire. He was absolutely good on his doubles, which is going to be the difference today. It is. I think. So JJ's going to get the first look at the out here. Welcome in, Nicholas Bristow, the new follower. So thanks for the follow out there. What up, Nicholas? Hope you're having a good Saturday. Hope you get a chance to enjoy the stream, like what you see today. So, all right, one twenty-eight. First we'll stay one there. looks good. Sixteen for forty. So he's gonna have three darts at that, no matter what. All day they could do is just set it up and hope for a JJ mistake. What's up, Jeff Maine? Thanks for the like out there, Jeff. One more big trip. So Day Day leaves it at 100, which isn't a bad spot, but you're going to need JJ to miss three at the double 20. That's the tough part. He's going to look over the double 10. Double 10. One more. Oh, and Snag's a single. So Day Day will get a look. And this is exactly what we're talking about. Trip 20 will leave you two darts at it. If you if you don't hit a trip 20 first dart, you got oh, double, well, we get a broken dart. Lost art, maybe? Maybe a lost art. Big reaction there. We get all the players. Yep. <laughs> you could see everybody's on the same page here. We like to help each other out. JJ <laughs> loses a dart. Everybody comes around it. <laughs> they got their phones out and everything. I love it. And it does get a little dark in that corner. Back it there does. By the dark, dark case. Yes, yeah, it so. does. <laughs> Especially you're always feeling like you want to get out of the way, so it feels like you're looking for it forever. Yes. Like For me, it, it, it does. Two seconds feels like five minutes. 45 for 40 here. 54 for double eight. Probably a little frustrated with no dart or double here. He may feel like his tournament's coming to an end. There are things that can happen. The double yeah. five isn't a give me, but it's definitely not a spot you want to be in if you're dating. I agree. What's up, Hot Rod? Oh, he's going to split it. I, I like it. 
And it works. I like the split because he didn't want to go five. Yeah. And, you know, either way, you're going to. That was smart. He made sure he got a dart at a double. That was a that was an experienced play right there. He just wanted to give himself one dart, and that's all it took. That is all so it took. So congrats to JJ as he's the second player to advance into the round of eight, and we'll bring you some new matches here. Um, let's find out what, and we will be right back with that. I'm going to find out who's going where. Yep, we'll see who's up next, guys. All right, it sounds like I'm going to guess that we're going to get Josh Sloan versus Tom Keller and Meatball versus Howard Hill. So, yep, that is going to be the next match. That's what it looks like because the other players had just played. That's the commentary booth. So, I'm going to I'm going to guess no one Chris that he's going to put the goat on board one. Because he's Howard Hill and when you hear Howard Hill, you just say board one. That's just how Chris will do. So, Howard versus who we say Meatball, Meatball. right? Oh, we have a real name for him. Oh. Brent. Yeah, somebody apparently <laughs> put him down for, under Brent. We're looking for Meatball, and of course it's under Brent. And then we said Josh and... Tom. Tom would be the other match, so... Wrong Josh got... Gotcha. All right, cool. So that's what we got up next. I don't know why Pax is down there. Probably just getting some reps in, okay. though. He's been sitting a minute. So we'll uh, – what is this? This supposed to be the bra – oh, that's that. picks. Yep, those are picks. So we're going to have both boards going, so we'll uh, end up doing the split screen again once they get started. We'll pop those awesome giveaways yep. up there for you. Check out this month's giveaways. We got the uh, hats that just came in. Everybody's uh, wearing them. You'll see them down there. They oh did yeah. come out great. They I will say that. Great. They are embroidered, so uh, very good quality, and uh, they turned out very well. Uh, custom jersey from Josh, $50 two, gift card. Two of them, I think, this month. Yep. Uh, $50 gift card to spend on anything at the Josh's Apparel website. We got the... Uh, Blade 5 dartboard and the custom surround that uh, Jay's Customs and Art will be uh, designing to your liking, whatever you want on there. It's the ring that goes around it. And the MDC dust lamp. Not too shabby. I think you guys will love it. Yep. Aaron, I, I'm reading the comment. That was classic. He said, I just told Cody Curtell about the Indie Bull shooter when I was sneaking Bud Lights by the security guard. And I, I told him, that's a weird place for a piano. And he looked up there and, <laughs> and you walked run right there. For beers. That's and hilarious. Like, literally, I saw him. Uh, and it was in Bolt. It was hilarious. a kid's movie. I took, he seriously got looked. He's like, huh? Oh, classic uh, Scott yeah, move it right was. there. Get drunk, too, you know. So What's there, up, Michael Punch? Th here comes the goat. Yep, you called the boards right. Howard Hill board one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You you know how uh, you know how it is. You hear Howard, and you just think, oh, let's get Howard on board one. This will be a good matchup between uh, these four coming up. Yeah, I would say uh, for all, all these guys, it's 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 definitely tough. No matter what, you're getting a tough match in every single round, and it's. Yeah, I agree. One rematch here, though, I will say that it's not that Howard and Brent haven't played, but Josh and uh, Josh and Tom had a really good match last time they, they played. Did. Oh, well, there we go, getting some donations started. Michael Punch Michael with the Punch. $20 donation. So, Thank you, Michael. We appreciate your donation, and we're going to get your entries in for yeah, the giveaway be, this uh, month. It's three for five all day today, so that's uh, 
Every five bucks will give you three entries. So that'll be 12 for Michael Punch. Thank you, Michael. Appreciate you. So what kind of, what do you guys think in this second round? Do we see a little bit closer? Do you guys ex expect, uh, what's everybody expecting here? We, we, we got Brent facing Howard and we got Josh facing Tom. And Yeah, let's hear your predictions. Who are you guys going with? Don't have to have scores if you just want to pick a winner or if you do want to guess the score, what you think it would be, you could do that too. But This is going to be a good round right here. Those old ones can go kind of quick, but I, I both those were a little lopsided, only seven games. They were. It, it could be, you know, three, four more games. So, because I, I feel like that was, well, that was about 40 minutes for the first set. Yeah, that's not too bad. Brian Henry in the house. What's up out there, Hank? How we doing? What's up, Brian Henry? He Hope says, you're doing What's well. What's up, MDC? Just getting rocking this evening as we're finally into our round of eight. The two, both the play in rounds are over. So, yep, we are down to the final eight now. Fun little 10 player field today. Single elimination, race to six. Yep. Open in, double out. Split bowl. Hoping to see a good sweat at that nine darter, but you know how elusive those can be. Brittany Lennard out there, back back again tonight after seeing her hubs on the stream last night. What's up, Britt? What's up, Britt? Hope you're having a good Saturday, babe. The way it's been going, I'm assuming they're working at the new place, getting stuff done. I saw oh, yeah. some some pics today ricky sent me the the table they did it came out great they just uh awesome. resurfaced his table it looked great yeah i think it was actually brit who did it too so if it was brit good job on that nice wow brian just now getting back from the toc that's a long week brian and he well even he's out there early too you know yeah David Flowers says, how's everyone at MDC tonight? I'm doing, doing good, good here. Thanks. I hope you're doing well as well. So, Yeah, thanks, David. Hope you're having a good night. Got some guests that's coming in. Howard and Josh. Chris said, order the happies. Howard oh. and Keller. Go, let's go, Howard. Howard and Tom. I think I got the happies right. right on the app here, so let's Perfect. see. Looks like uh, we got Howard and Brent getting started here. Looks like the GOAT is starting us off. And uh, Josh and Tom are getting started as well. All right. Yep, there, the uh, nine dart out bounty is 300 bucks, right? $300. So nine darter, uh, one of these guys could take home that $300. I, uh, excuse me if I'm a little slow here. Not yep, seem Scott's not ordering some I'm wings, so um, the, it'll be me for a second while he gets all that ready situated. For, uh, for our people here and make sure everybody's going to eat good tonight. So there's a good ton for meatball right there. What a tough match. These guys go to all the luck of the draws together, oh, yeah. too, don't One they? One more from Howard. And he, and gets he does. It. Howard comes right in filling them up. Same thing I did. Yep, I did. So <laughs> ton 80, sure. number three. Ton 80, yeah. number three is number now three on the board. Is on the board. Hundred from uh, Meatball. Josh Snack to trip 20 with his third dart over there on board two. These guys are rocking and rolling. Howard did not waste any time getting his buck 80 in there, did he? He did not. It was, uh, what, his I'm going to have to wait a second yeah. to order those wings, Chris. The app's giving me a hard time, so I'm doing just a sec here. So Meatball have the first look at an out. Even with the 180 from Howard, so... He's throwing some uh, fire over there. 41 points per dart almost. And he's got six clear, six darts he from sure 136. I am happy if I'm Meatball. Eight days, Brian said he was out there. What a long time, yeah. How many boards did you bring back, Brian? Fifty-one for double ten here. Yep. 
We'll see what way he goes. Sometimes Meatball does some uh, crazy math. What's up, Mark? Back after uh, restarting laptop. Uh, JJ and... 15, nice. Brian is restocked pretty nice with 15 wow. fires, yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a, heck of a, a heck of a haul to bring back with you, too. Trip 19 for Josh here. He does leave the 160. He had total control. I looked away he one did. shot. Tom must have threw a real big shot there. Tom came back in that game. All right, double 16 for Meatball. One look at it. Just outside. So Howard's got to look at this 96. 15 news G3s. Greg nice. Madera back after last night. He says, what up, MDC? What's up, Greg? What's Good up, time. Greg? Good seeing you last night. It was fun to have you back. It sure was. Him and uh, him and uh, Ricky hung out for a while after the other guys took off. It got home. They stayed and played. I went downstairs with them for a little bit. Watched while they they played a few games. And very cool. We kicked it for a few. All right. So Meatball's gonna get another look at this 32, and Tom's looking at 75. So uh, let's see what these guys do here. So 18 for 40 for Tom. Meatball gets his. Tom's got one dart at the double. Doesn't get it. So Josh single. is going to have at least one dart at a double, most likely. From 64, you should definitely get a dart at a double. Two 16s will leave you a double. S single 16 will leave them tops. Oh, and snags a seven. So definitely going to be disappointed in that. But it is a race to six. And, you know, that's uh, sometimes you're going to have a bad leg here and there. Probably not expecting to get another shot from Tom, but you never know. They both yeah, had to we'll see what happens. had to wait through that opening round. So, oh, and he does get a look at it all on the outside there. That's a tough round too. Yeah, both these guys. Josh is uh, happy that he's getting another look. Usually, at this, two man. really good doubles hitters too. Yeah. They're both just struggling They're with really doubles. Good. You know, and sometimes that first round though could be a little tricky. So. But Josh so does Josh get hit. Josh steals that game. I'm going to let uh, Katie get with you guys for just yep. a sec here. I'm going to take a look at this uh, food. I'm going to try to figure this out real quick. Sounds so good. I will be back, guys. All right, let's get into some trouble, guys. So we got... Tom starting off on board two starts off with a 123. And these guys are both in their uh, second legs right now. Mom says hi again from Florida. What's up, Mama? Hope you guys are enjoying your vacation down there. Meatball snags a trip 20 on his third dart. Had to have that. He's got a a little bit of an advantage on Howard right there. Tom taking 60 on that round. Well, Josh had all trips, but not the ones that he wanted, I'll tell you that. So Meatball gets 81, not looking at an out yet. Howard's got to throw a big round here. What's up, Norm? Hope you're having a good night out there. Oh, he snags a trip 20 with his third, but I think Meatball's going to have the first look at leaving himself something good. Oh, our meatball hits a trip one on his third. So he leaves himself 111, which is doable. If anyone's curious on uh, what they're listening to, it is definitely hip hop. Hip hop. All right, so Tom's looking at 138, and Josh is uh, trying to bring this down and leave him something. I don't so nothing yet. Tom's going to have six starts at this 138. Carrie said she's so excited for King and Queen. If you don't know, you're missing out. I couldn't agree more. 
And Brent took that one with a 111 out. Nice round for Meatball. Yeah, make sure, uh, ladies, I believe it's November 12th. That is King and Queens. Uh, great event. That's where Josh proposed to me. And uh, we're looking forward to being there again. All right, so Josh hits a high ton and leaves himself double top. And Tom is looking at 36. And he gets it. So Tom ties it up one to one on board two. And he said he's watching longer tonight. Sorry, it's a little hard for me to read the comments too. Um, just I'm trying to keep y'all informed on these matches. So big ton 40 from Howard right there. Josh starts off a little slow with that 40. All right, All right, who's going to get the next ton 80? Way to hold it down in there, Katie. Thank you. I didn't do anything. Wings <laughs> wings, and pizza, and let's see what we got Nothing here. Nothing has been broken. Oh, hope you're uh, feeling better, Ronnie. That's no fun. Gets a trip, Meatball gets a trip 20 on his third dart. Had to have it. Okay. Get that pizza money straightened out and get everything good. So, so Howard's going to have the first look at this 104 to uh, get himself on the board. So it looks like Josh was able to... Or Josh and Tom are at 1-1 one, one They are, yep. and Tom then, uh, snagged game two to tie it up. And it looks like Brent uh, Brent got the second game over there. He but sure Howard's going to have a big 111 out. Did he? Nice. There's Speaking my girl. 111, that's almost as much as the wings were right there. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. Well, we got a lot of people here today. So. Oh, yeah. What I up, Steph? Got a 50-pack of wings and then... Uh, Large square pizza and some stuffed cheesy bread. So hopefully that's going to be enough food for everybody. Yeah, I like it. <clears throat> All right, so Howard's looking to take this 32. See what he does. Don't want to be giving away your outs today. You want to make sure that just like that first dart in them where you walk into Perfect. line feeling real confident. So he is on the Steph board. Steph and Carrie both jumping in there. How's it going? What's up, Carrie? How are you tonight? Can't wait to see what you're going to be whooping up in the kitchen uh, tomorrow. I believe your day of cooking is Sunday. I always look forward to those yep. posts. <laughs> I, I think uh, Steph and uh, Chucky were hosting today as well with the club. Oh, nice. I think they had the car club out there at the house today. Very I saw nice. all, the, all the whips and the... Uh, Hope you guys had a good day with that. In their snaps today, so... Very cool. All right, great first start from Josh there. Leaves himself double top. Great round. Yeah, we got to get Ronnie feeling better. He's going to be on the boards by Wednesday. So Josh in good shape. Josh in good shape, but Ron's going to or Tom's going to have a shot. Not now after the first start single. He's going to have to hope that Josh misses an out here. Yep. So first start, I'm calling it. Mm. He did that last time. Hit it second he dart, did. though. I always hate when they bounce like that back Same. at you. Same. Yeah. Snags a single. Stays calm. One thing great about Josh is his demeanor during One his more. play, though. He definitely doesn't get shook up. Oh, Meatball had a, another ton 40. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't get shook up. No, he do doesn't bother him. He doesn't over. He doesn't celebrate when he wins, and uh, he doesn't pout when he when he misses. So it, it's uh, it's a good way to good to way stay to nice and level. <laughs> stay yeah. nice and level it makes the game a little easier at times. I agree. Steph said it was a great day for the club party, so that's good to hear. Well, good. 
Big third dart from Josh to go up two to one. Meatball putting applying a little pressure on Howard here is uh He sure is. Leaves it at 103 though, so Howard in a pretty good spot. Let's see if he elects to stay if he hits trip twenty, trip twenty. I think he will. I think he will. Yeah, no, he moved. Oh, he went that. trip eighteen. Yeah. Chuck, you said about 500K in cars <laughs> in the driveway. I believe it. I've seen it. I believe it, it too. <laughs> so that's how sometimes the, with the trucks on the street over here, you know, you look out, there's yeah. so many. It's But we have more people, you know. There's, <laughs> yes. But there was uh, the trucks. The one day I looked out, and I looked all the way down. It's like there's one little aisle going down. Everybody's got the big dualies out there. And, but, yeah, I was seeing the snaps, Chucky. I seen you guys. Uh, look like everyone was... Uh, Having a good time. Having a good one. Howard's got to oh, look at this. He's got a shot. you got to go 20 so you guarantee yourself a dart, I, I think. I mean, 54 leaves double eight, but I guess when you're as good as him, you just go for the triple. Because and you're going to hit it anyways. 2-2. Two, two. So what a shot from Howard. What a sneak attack, man. If you're Brent, you're a little disappointed back there because oh, you're yeah. like, this guy. You know what I mean? Yeah, he stole the game. Pax says he's hungry. He sees the eggs. He's about to make an omelet. Hey, we got uh, we, pizza's on the way, man. We got uh, pizza, wings, and uh, cheesy bread coming for you guys. So hold tough. It should be here in about 30 minutes. Chuck said, looking forward to throwing some pool parties next year. I like the sound of that. Oh, yeah. I definitely like the sound of that. Let's see what Goat got for the open here. He moves down to the 19 and catches a couple and trips. And it worked. So that big shot turned him right around. He goes to a big checkout and then a 134 really in. He's uh, feeling pretty comfortable down there. Brent's not going to be bothered, though. He's another one who stays pretty calm. Tom hits that trip 20 to leave himself a first look at an out over there. 140 was, 140 is good for Josh here. If you can cut it in half, you can get away with Only grabbing 55 there. That It feels like they're already got the pace where they might be a 13-inch sideboard, yeah. doesn't it? Like Both of these matches. It was last time, wasn't it, when the, the match when they played? Uh, it was, at yeah. the, I think it was the qualifier was the one where, to make the all-star team. It was the. You're right. The premier. Uh, yeah, because Josh was up 4-2. They were yeah. tied 4-4, four, 5-5. Four, five, five. They went to the thirteen. A lot of trip one snags I'm uh, seeing today. Hate when that happens. Well, you're going to see them all day long in an event like this. It oh, seems yeah. like right next oh, to yeah. that trip 20, it's like, oh, boy. So Josh is going to have a look at the 142. This is exactly what he did great the other day against Jerry was big outs in these types of situations. Let's see if he could do one more. Thanks, Ronnie Mack. We already got it mounted on the wall. Yeah, appreciate you, Ron. That was uh, Josh. Josh come up with that. Uh, he did that all, all by himself, man. Just built that and coming home from work and working on that. And he uh, he knocked it out the park. We were all, I mean, obviously, Katie had seen it because he's doing it at home, but it was the first time me and Chris saw anything other than a picture and uh, pretty blown away by that one. Yep, so Tom grabs that one, and it uh, ties it up two to two. So both these matches uh, sitting at deuces. Pretty crucial spot for Howard and Brent, too, is uh, Brent sitting at an out at 136, and Howard toes the line for a start trip 20 from 198. 117 is not too bad. What up, Easy? Hope you're having a good Saturday out there. My man Easy in the house. What up, brother? Pushing at 70 viewer mark, so appreciate you guys all today with the getting the shares and everybody out there. Yeah, thanks everyone for tuning in. Let us know what you're Hopefully doing. Hopefully, everybody got their guesses in during the stream. So, get all those close those down. Obviously, after the first round of plays that got got rolling. So, so 94. Little, sl little slack from Howard. Yeah. There, yeah, the big chance for for Brent to really capitalize here with the steal and go up three to two. Because Howard's, I'm not going to call him automatic from 80, but I wouldn't want to see him getting a shot at it if I'm Brent. I'd want to hit this double 20 right here and go up 3-2. to two. 
So Howard is going to get a look at it. At 19. No. And he hits the 7, though, 32. Do you think Howard's going to do double double? <laughs> I, you know, I was actually sitting here thinking yep. Matthew Wood. He should, maybe shouldn't, but yeah, he's going to go. Wow. And it, wow, he's just insane. And that is a goat win right there. So he forced himself to have to hit a triple. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> single, go triple, single, double. single on the twenty. You got one dart or double. Yep. If you go sixteen, <laughs> you have to hit a triple. And he's and like, he well, <laughs> look, you can see Brent still shit. Oh yeah, <laughs> still doing the math. Big round from Josh. They're leaving himself 72. Steph said they're finally settled down, watching some darts fly. So oh, good. Good stuff. Hopefully it was uh, lots of good food and stuff. Yeah, the hardest part of parties is always the cleanup. Like a, oh, yeah. You know, always. Barbecues. and Big round from Tom right there, too, to leave himself 80. Yep. Josh from 72 should be dangerous here. It's no gimme, but I would say uh, he hits this shot a lot of times. So let's see if he can... He's going to need uh, one dart at a double here. Ooh, and just He's outside with wide his third. A little wide on that double ring. So let's see how Tom does, 80. I assume Tom's going to go up at the 20s. And Brent and Howard are just back-to-back -back shooting great. Double top for Tom. Snags the single, so Josh has a look at this 32. Really pulled that down, too. Yeah, it didn't seem like he let that go very comfortably by it's what we normally see. Russ checking in from the bachelor party. What up, No Hustle Russell? Hope you guys are having fun in yep. Chi-Town. Looks like you guys, I bought my stock in Jaeger before you guys left this week. Smart. Uh, oh, invest yeah. in Jaeger, <laughs> yeah. you know. I saw the bottles. Definitely. <laughs> So Josh missed that 32. Yeah. So Tom's got to look at this double 10. Yeah, neither of them have been too crispy on their outs no. just yet. They've been uh, not from what Tom we're used to seeing. It. Go ahead, Mark Howard, for that ton 80 as well. I sure will. Top shelf them. So ton 80 number four for you guys out there in the official count. And Sauce. this is going to be all counts all night, not yep. per board or anything. Have a great night. Have a great night out there in Shy Town, Russell. Yeah, for sure, guys. Enjoy yourselves and be safe out there. And I oh, know yeah. you. I, I don't even have to say have a good time. I yeah. see the crowd they got with them. Oh, They're yeah. definitely gonna They're have a good time. Definitely having a good time. Yep. Congrats to Jerry. He's yeah, getting for married sure. in a few weeks, so they're out celebrating him. Absolutely, as they should be. I, I believe next week is the girl, the girl, the bachelor yeah. party. We so. will be uh, oh, yeah, you're, out you're, in Cincy yeah. next yeah. weekend. So both both sides of the wedding party is doing it big as oh, yeah. uh, the fellas make it down to, to Chicago and the ladies will be in Cincinnati. So pretty awesome. Monette says, go, Josh. Thank you, Monette. I heard you guys were uh, doing shots for breakfast. I would expect nothing less from uh, Edward. <laughs> yeah, hey, shots for breakfast. We've all done those. <laughs> At least most of the people who watch here have. You, yes. know? And I, we don't, you don't have to have done that, but we just... Most of most of you have actually done it with us or some way. Big shot from Josh there. Leaving himself 140. Yeah, and really bouncing back after missing that e that what he probably yeah, feels was the easy Yeah, because he really had advantage of that whole game. He had four darts at 32 yeah. at minimum, uh, four darts at 32, and and, and uh, bounce back with a 40 point per dart. Uh, it's a good sign. You don't want to see that start to break you, especially in a single elimination tournament. I agree. Steph asked what's in uh, Cincinnati. She's just curious. What do you guys, uh, what's on the agenda out there? Oh, so. gosh. Well, Aubrey is an amazing planner. So uh, we have, we roll up Friday. We're doing a private chef dinner at the house. She did an Airbnb. So it's nice. like a five course, six course dinner or something like that. Kicking it off in and style. And uh, a party bus to go out on the town. And then uh, we drive home Sunday. Sounds pretty badass yeah. to me. Looking forward to it. There's I don't know where 80. we're going. There's a buck 80. Got another one. That was me. Did I double click? You did because we are at four. Okay. Yeah, that private chef dinner. And then who we got with the Josh W there? That's that Josh win. to tie that at three. Tying it at three. And then we got Howard Hill has a 4-2 lead on Brent. That's correct. That is correct. And if we could get a comment in there, there's somebody in the front room is waiting on the pizza, right? I think uh, I think maybe Day Day or Heim might be in the front room out there. We'll, 
Yep, don't but, miss the pizza man. Could this be a trip 20 from Brent? And it, it is. is. Let's get number six. I knew it Could've was coming. Could have just left it there. Could have just left it. <laughs> Could have just left it. Brent says, I ain't going away yet, goat. You're yeah. going to have to play. That He got those two in a row. Shooting some fire. And what was it? You went with 23. I went with I went 19. With I went yep. with 19. Todd says, Kim, get the pizza. There you go. <laughs> Double 16 to pull within one. And, and he, he gets, gets it. it. What's some, what some great matches these guys got? It really is. Chris Watson out there says, me, me. He's ready for pizza, too. Oh, maybe. yeah. Glad you guys are out there watching. You could see the... Abundance of MDC jerseys in the house today. Oh, yeah. We do love to see that. It's great. Everyone is repping. Yep. Even Danny, the little man, he's wearing his when he's around. He's, oh yeah. You know, everybody around here rocks the uh, rocks the MDC jersey. I have mine on under my uh, hoodie. Yep. <laughs> what jersey did I? Oh, I got the Freer Darts jersey today. I would decide to go with the old school Freer Darts. The OG. Yep. One of my personal favorite jerseys. I just like that bright orange in there. I was yep. always favored the orange jerseys. They even the old uh, darts for go, the darts for dog orange one was one of my absolute favorites. Tough round from Howard. They're only picking up forty five. What's up, Calhoun? Thanks for the like. Chuck said Steph spotted uh, his uh, sticker. Chuck was asking about the sticker. He saw yeah. it on the back of everybody's phone. He was like, where's mine? I'm like, dude, they're on the desk. Go take a couple. And Steph must have saw the same way on his. Like, hey, where's mine? I love it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we definitely, if, you, if you're ever here and you want one of some of the stickers, just ask. We got, a, we got, yeah, there's got to be MDC still 50 stickers. or 60 of them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Double top for Josh. Did we miss a 180, Chris? Is that what you're telling us? Yes, we did. We Numbers. Did. All seven. right. And Good Josh job, took Josh. That win. Josh with the the win, and he was the one. That, and there's number eight over there. Wow. All right, these guys are uh, heating up. Okay, ton 80s, eight ton 80s underway. Let's go. Thanks, Let's John Stewart. Go. Thanks Thank both, guys. Johns. Thank you, everyone. We appreciate uh, you keeping us on track. Should be one eight. It should be it should be eight. Josh hit one, and then we had one over here on this other board. Right after. Believe we're at eight, and we might be at nine here with Josh with this. Oh, triple five! I got to stop jinxing these poor guys. <laughs> so Meatball's gonna be looking at the first out to uh, tie this up four to four. We'll definitely do that for you, Gordon. Patricia, he said, have Paula Ron bring, bring, oh, actually, it would be Patricia that said that. Then have, uh, we will send that with you. Uh, both your boys will be playing here next week. We got, uh, yeah. Paulie on Monday, Monday. And, and, uh, and, and Ronnie on Wednesday. So yep. I'll make sure, uh, make sure to send that with them for sure. Yep. So we got eight verified with John Ooh, and the GA more. there. So, oh, Howard just missed the third. A few more ton 80s in this round than yeah. that opener. Six. Was it six? Two. So yeah, six to two. two, yeah. And the two was, what, one for JJ and one for uh, yep. Day Day? Uh, yeah, it was Day Day. Yeah, yeah. One dart, a double 16 to tie the match, and he does. Meatball gets it. Boy, both these matches are really They're close. They're great. And this is to move into the final four. You know, yeah. you get your 100 bucks back if you win this match, yep. you know. Yeah, payouts. Uh, Not that they guys care to get it back, but it sure is nice yeah. if you 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 know when you when you don't lose, yes. it's better than losing. You know what I, I agree. mean? Like, um, do you want to tell everyone what the payouts are tonight? Yeah, the club uh, the club threw in uh, two hundred and fifty on top of the one thousand dollars in uh, in hundred dollar entries today. So with the twelve fifty payout, there's it's going to be seven hundred and fifty to the champ, uh, three hundred for the runner up, and both of third and fourth place will get a, get their hunter back so i like it yeah so it's a uh, good payout it's a good payout you could potentially go three and oh and win 750 bucks uh you can't beat that for a saturday oh i agree 
it's Josh is looking at the uh, big fish for the win. This would just be so sick right here, especially where the game's at at four to three. Not gonna happen. And there is the there is the bounty today that you guys do. I'm sure you've heard us talking about. Is that another buck eighty? It sure is. Number nine. Meatball and Howard are going to town. They are 20s. tearing up them 180s over there. I feel like most of the 180s have come from their match. Yeah. So Josh, Josh still not wow. in and out, though. He's going to be unable to capitalize. Smart play by Tom to just, just go ahead and bust it. it. Yeah. Yep. He's a veteran. He's not going to make a mathematical error, that's for sure. Just falling outside into that five. I bet I heard him run over there thinking they, both of them like, I didn't know this guy make me work this hard. Oh, you know, yeah. they look like they're working over there. Oh, yeah, they there. are working hard. Yeah. They've had like zero room for air. So Tom gets that win and ties it up four to four. These matches are both at fours. And kind of what we suspected here. We oh, had yeah. said early that both these matches look like they could potentially be heading to the 13 inside. Here comes 180 from Josh. Ooh, and you one, three, five. <laughs> Gotta stop. I thought I heard the board. I tried to cheat. Yeah. Like, I thought I heard it. So I was trying to play like I was like. That's hilarious. Yeah, I definitely <laughs> thought I heard the board make the noise. I love it. That's what I get for cheating. Howard leaves so, himself 90. Yeah, he's got it. He's going to have at least three darts from 90. That's all he probably should get. But if without a big score from Brent here, he could potentially get six. So it looks like, yeah, he's yeah, good. He's he got is. six from 90. Not a bad place to be. He is just drilling those triples for setup, isn't he? His setup triple is automatic. It really in, is. In, in, the, in the clutch. And he did it risky ways, too. 64 with two, you know, the he's hit some big triples on set shots. What's up, Brian? Thanks for the like. So Josh with a bit of a stumble there is going to let yeah. Tom back in this leg. Keep setting that five. Josh is in pretty good, good control early. All right, here comes Tom, the go. Tom, quite the regular around the club these days, he isn't he? Is. Yeah, I gotta, you he gotta is. say, you gotta love and it. And he feels comfortable down there too. Oh, you why would tell. he not? Yeah, he's just—he's yeah. a really fun guy. He's been—he's all the guys love him, and and everybody respects what a great opponent he is. And I love that when uh, Chuck pulled up, Chuck tells me a story. I yeah. told you his. We went to his dad's, and his his dad says, "You know who's really good over there on that live stream is that Tom guy." Yeah, <laughs> Chuck, <laughs> it's Chuck just to, lost to yeah. him. <laughs> I just thought that was so funny that Gary said that. Dad's man coming yeah. in with them jabs every now and then. <laughs> so Howard's looking at this double four to take the lead, 5-4. Smart play by Tom to switch down and guarantee at least to get a shot from 160. You stay on the 20 there, and he would have uh, wouldn't have been on and out. So smart play from Tom. Wow, and Howard missed that double four, so Meatball's looking at 100. Ronnie says Tom was a super fun guy to play with. So, yeah, he's a great guy. Gary enjoying the story. I thought it was such a Chuck <laughs> literally just told me that last night. He was I love it. Chuck got here kind of early before the before the stream yesterday and we were just kind of catching up for a minute and and uh he told me about that and I was just cracking up. No one is dad, it's even funnier. I love it. He probably laughed after he left, you know, like laughing like he just said it. Well, Howard, you better not let this one get away. He doesn't. There he goes. So, yeah, he does hit that. If you let that dart get away, you just never will let that go. So, Ste Howard goes up 5-4. Steph enjoying the, the friendly banter between father and son. I love it. <laughs> so, he's going to have a shot. And he gets it. So, Tom with a big dart at a double where they haven't. He hasn't been the strongest on his doubles this round. That was a huge shot. It was a big shot. To take a 5-4 lead. Big one there. Forcing Josh. To win this leg to stay alive. Yep. Same. Same with Brent over there. He's uh, got to win this to stay alive. <laughs> Steph, just, just, Steph just hearing that story for the first time. I love it. <laughs> I, I loved it, too. I was cracking up. So loose from Howard on the third there. Tom 
Tom knowing probably exactly what this game means in his oh, match. Yeah. Hex, what's up, my man? I appreciate the share, brother. What's up, Hex? Hope you're having a good night out there. Steph said she was cracking up. He, <laughs> that's the first time she heard that. I love it. <laughs> All right, let's see what Howard does. Only picking up 45. Josh getting in a little trouble over here as Tom's finding first two darts Tom trip 20. Finding those 20s. Get to 140. Big first dart from Great Josh. Got to get a confident round here. You take That's the 100. Ton. Yeah, if you're Josh right there, you're happy with the 100. Hello, Wendy. How are you? What's up, Wendy? Hope you're having a good night out there. So, Meatball and Howard are pretty even right now in this match. Yeah, these Same next two turns on. will... Both of these are clutch games, and they're so close now. This is where those doubles can get tricky, too. You know, it's, it's no easy task right now. To hit those, you know, knowing what's on the line. Their, their matches are almost even at an even score, too. Everything. Is, yeah, even, yeah, <laughs> two insane. players. Yeah, <laughs> literally 240 to 220 was the only difference. Look at Howard finding that trip 20. Can he get another? Tom snags 100 there. So 56 for Josh, but a Shanghai on the 20s will end this match right here for Tom Keller. Let's see if Tom can put it away. Brent's playing to stay alive from 1-3-2. Tom's going to get a dart at the double. Oh, double 10. Double 10 as he goes a little high on the double 20 or a little high on the single. And he, and he does. It. He's able to put it away. So a hard-fought match, and yeah, Tom gets match. through there six games to four. Thanks for the like, Steve. There's a guy Thanks out there. Thanks for the like, Steve. Uh, so, nice win from Tom there. He's putting himself in the final four. We're going to switch this uh, over to Howard and Meatball. Bring you in close as this match wraps down to the uh, what could be the end here. This, especially if Brent doesn't hit this here. He needs this to push it to the 13-inch side. And he, and he does just it. that. All right, flip that board over, guys. So as the 13-inch side comes in play for the first time. All right, who do you guys think is uh, going to take this tiebreaker? Both the kids watching in for, for their dad there. It says Sam and Troy both say good job to as Tom able to find victory in his opening match of the day. Yep, he sure did. Close match between those guys. Has been so far. They but both times they played this uh, this game. I don't even know what to expect here. This is such Me a neither. tough game. Both these players have they've posted a whole bunch of the one eighties. Oh yeah, you, you know. So this really has been. Uh... I think Meatball's gonna start it off. Yeah, he definitely had the diddle. John had to remind uh, John had to remind Steve to get on and watch. He said. What Look a first this. dart. Wow. A 140 to start. What a shot from Meatball. On the 13 inch. That's that's concentration right there. He's dialed in. And he knows what this game means. I expect the goat to come right back at him here. Picks up 43. See if Meatball can uh, hold these uh, throws. He's all over that trip 20 again. Finds another one. Look at him. Nice ton. So if you're Howard, you got to just get back in. You don't have to press, but you want it. You definitely want to try to find 100 here. Sure do, because uh, double out on the 13 inch is a little different. It can get tricky, but, you know, we see that most guys, they usually don't, though. It's, we yeah. always expect it to, and then it's like. They're pretty good Somebody on, on, you know, like a day day the other day on that 83, that 51, mm -hmm. 32, bang, bang, you know, and it's like, there's Olivia Terry. What's up, fam? What up, O? 
think she's out there in Wisconsin, NDA, right? Or oh, is, I don't is know. that where she's? Where are you at, girl? I feel like she's shooting darts. What you doing tonight? Here's Howard finding a couple triples, or at least one. Does he get two? No. Nope. Still a good round. Had to have it. Tom ended up getting that. Ron asked. He just walked back in the room. Tom uh, checked out a, one tw a Shanghai 120 to win the match six games to four. And then this game, this obviously, as you see the 13 inside, this is the this is the final game of the, the final leg of this match. And Howard's looking to 180 here. 139 as he just misses the trip 19 there. Great round from Howard. So Howard has surged back, but is it going to be too late? It's it's going to come down to the doubling here. It is. This is getting close. Good job by Howard to fight back, though, because he, he was really did. way behind. Yeah. Yeah, he was way behind as uh, what Brent came out 140. One, was it 140, 140? Or? Great Look at this. Start. Another trip 20. Trip 18 here. And he stays on the 20. And here you have it. So all of a sudden after that, after round five, Howard's in the lead after all the power scoring. But Brent knows that with 80 points here, he moves on. So he should be confident. He's played well. You have to go 12 here. I think you have to at least guarantee you get one shot at a double, even if it's the bull. Double 13. He's okay with that. Yep. And, and he, he gets it. it. Wow, what a match. What a match. That was Wow. That was an excellent finish. Congrats to Meatball, him and Tom. So Meatball's gonna move into the next round. Now we're gonna see yep. what uh Well let's find out. Let's pull that bracket up, right? We're gonna pull the bracket up and get the uh new names up on the board. I'm gonna mute my mic for a second. Give you a thing. Look at they're all just now here in the out in the front room. <laughs> so it looks like Swanson and Carpenter and Pax and Wallace coming that way. Okay, guys, so we've got it's Chris Swanson versus JJ Carpenter and Pax versus Kim Wallace. So we are coming your way with a couple more good ones. Let us know what you think. What's going to happen? That was a that was a pretty wild finish there, and uh, double thirteen with one dart in hand. Pax and. So what do you guys know about this next round? What's going to happen here? We've got some good players coming up. I was wondering, Brent says, I thought I had 90. I was wondering why he went, 18, went the 18 on 80. So here we go as uh, the players you'll see. Uh, we see Denny up there throwing some, but we'll see some of the players coming in and uh, start to get loose. All right, guys, I'm just pinning uh All right, Katie coming back. What's all the talk out there about Burns crazy outs? Yep. That's how he does, but he hits them. He does hit them.
So we'll get a couple, uh, get the Cash App and the PayPal pinned up there for anybody trying to get in on the, uh, the giveaways. Anybody get in on some early entries here as we got the, uh, bring you the giveaway screen for a second. I know most of you have been here the whole time, so we won't leave it up there too long but if you haven't seen it that's what we got going so far this month we got the uh the new the new piece we're featuring is the steel tip board with the custom surround that you'll be able to pick your uh pick your design and work with our guy that does all uh all the art you've seen here we've seen oh, yeah. you've seen the last month we did the canvas and i don't know if you saw the shoes uh that he, he did for uh chris here at the ref and some of you on my personal facebook page may have seen the Plants for a Zombies one he did for my little man's birthday, which came out amazing. And you could check him out on his Facebook or Instagram page. Uh, he does great work, and he's looking forward to working with the lucky winner and creating uh, something custom for your home. Dark one of room. a kind. Yeah, one of a kind, and uh, we'll ship it right out to you and make that happen for you. So good luck to everybody who sure participates. But and it is uh, three for five, so every five bucks gets you three entries yeah. into the drawing, and it'll be at the end of the month. What's up, TJ? What's up, Melanie? Thanks for the likes. Pack said he was able to fix his glasses, found a bread tie, so that's good. It is nice to have a, have Howard back in the club. I will I will agree with that. TJ asked, uh, you know, I, I'd say it's pretty what pretty widespread. I, I would say if if I had to guess the. Uh, you know, maybe the top average down there. I don't know what JJ's average is. I would guess it's a. I would guess them to be four or five or so. Yeah, you know, I mean, in they're cricket. They're you know, good shots. I don't want to insult anyone, but they have pretty yeah. high averages. Yeah, I, I don't feel like I would super low ball in there. It could be higher. You know, um, I wouldn't really peg them much lower than that. Maybe four or four or something. But I agree. I would say all the games we saw him shoot in the opening round were thirty-seven points of dart, thirty-eight points of dart, and that split bowl. So, um, we got some guys down there that could throw. Oh yeah. But I would say, yeah, I would say that's fair. If you put an overall average on the whole field, it would probably be somewhere maybe what about around what Brian said there, maybe around the 4-0 mark. And if you took everybody's average and, and just put it for the field, 4-0 to a 4-2 probably. Most of these guys are pretty good scorers in 0-1. The 0-1 could be up there a little bit. Oh, yeah. You're welcome, TJ. For anyone just tuning in, we are doing a race to six. Open in, double out, is that, split bowl. Is that your cousin there? I think I recognize that. David? That is my cousin, David. Yeah, I thought so. I thought so. Welcome, David. Pappy, what's going on? Welcome in. Oh, there he is. Yep. What up, Pappy? Hope you're having a good night. What up, cuz? So, Pax, a first timer here at the club. Long timer with this crew, though. We played a ton of darts with Pax. He always played in all the freer leagues, and Pax plays a lot of darts with everybody down there. He does. Plays a lot on the east side. He's dealing too. Look at him. Oh yeah, and he's a southpaw like us, representing. And of course, I got the scoreboards backwards. Chris must is. So Pax and Pax and Kim. Pax and Kim, and then JJ and Chris. I just guessed. JJ and Chris. There we go. So we got a couple of good, interesting matches. I, I don't know that. Uh, Another good set coming up. I don't know how much these guys. I'm sure Pax and, and Kim have played each other, Good Rich or yeah. something like that. You yeah. know, shorties. I think Kim goes there every once in a while. Pappy said he's headed out to the Roadhouse to get some practice in. Nice. Nice. I, I would think that. Um, Swanson and, and Carpenter could have never, definitely could have never played each. They could have because of the, you know, the Ohio shooters, Bulls shooters stuff, and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, Chicago, you know, what not. But two guys like who are guys both are working over there too. Yeah, they're, they're and they're both really explosive on their triple twenties too. Both those players, I feel like, and are very capable of. Not that the other players aren't, but I just feel like those guys are really explosive with their trip twenty. So yeah, I agree. What's up, Misty? Thanks for the like. Tori says, go, JJ. Go, JJ. Go, JJ. Go. 
Chuck Lawrence says Kim Wallace only smiles when he sees Sheehan. Find the lie in that. We've been we've been trying to catch Kim smiling. He's having a good time, but he is. We, it's He's still not easy time. to catch him smiling, even if he is having a good time. So we are underway on board two, and it looks like we're just about to get underway on board one as well. As it looks like Kim's kind of wrapping up his uh kind of wrapping up his practice over there. Chris Luce with his first. Picks up a trip with the third. Yep. Which definitely feels good in the opening round of your opening match. I mean, this is his first match. JJ's got a win under his belt. He, you know, he did have a ton of eight. He was tested a little bit with Dady. Dady was scoring and, oh yeah, you know. JJ's jumping right back in. Yeah, he does. He, he's, trip 20 looks real locked in tonight. Scott throwing some shade at Pappy. I say I was just, I, I was just really night. Night. <laughs> Hey, you know, it wouldn't be darts if your buddies didn't take jabs like that. So that's, I don't remember uh, seeing anything on Thursday. <laughs> and there's a ton 80 from there's Swanson in his first appearance. So we see double digits double now. Double digits. And it looks like Pax is just throwing his diddle. So him and Wallace should be getting underway. Couple of interesting matchups here. I'm, I'm excited. Are, yeah, I'm excited, are especially uh, both these guys coming off the win had strong wins in the opening round, six to yeah. one. So, oh yeah, yeah, they did. Carrie says she has two rare photos of of uh, Kimberly smiling. So they they have captured that. Swanson with his fourth triple in a row there. Starting off strong. Pax picks up 81 to start it off on uh, board one. Kim feeling real comfortable with I'll his I tell you first what, Kim three. looks great so far. From what I've seen today, Kim has really looked good. His doubles have been good. And uh, I think Aaron, Aaron pointed out earlier that he didn't even miss one in the opening set, and his scoring was pretty well. Oh, yeah. Kim's scoring is phenomenal. Chris always a fun guy to have out. Chris was out for our uh, young the Young Gun Challenge we did back yep. on, uh, what was it, July 3rd? I think it was right before. That was it. Michigan it was First, Ohio. Was, was that yeah, Michigan with Marty Ohio? Hall yep. and X and, and Damien and uh, Alec, Eric. I think that was it, right? Was it? Uh... Olivia can correct you. She was here for that one. Yeah, it was four-man teams, right? They yeah, had it was four-man. Four yeah, yeah. yeah. So that she was, was one of the coaches, I believe. Yeah, because it was Marty and X and Alec and uh, – Eric. Okay. Yep. And then and we had uh, Brandon. The kid. We had Brandon. We had the kid. We had Brent, and we had uh, Swanson. Yep. And then I did we do the luck? Yeah, we did end up doing a there luck was a after luck that. After, yep. That was a fun. That was another late night. That was a. Leaves himself thirty five. So JJ's looking at one fourteen, and Kim's looking at one thirty six on board one. This would be a big steal of JJ. Well, it's actually just a hold. It would be a hold, but it would almost feel like a steal the way that the way that Chris's scoring was early in this game. Oh, I agree. They they decided Chris is kicked off the team next time. His young age is does not qualify him for the yg challenge because he is an experienced young player that is definitely for sure so win number one for chris Swanson. Chris. he'll take a one game to zero lead over jj and that's actually a break so that's an impressive first win that is a good sure first. jj won't be too worried about that all business for this guy as he makes his way back to the line and uh gonna look to start filling that 20 right back up like he's been doing all night long So Kim's looking at 32 to take the uh, first win on board one. And he does just that. Kim Wallace goes up one to nothing. JJ opened up with 81, and now Chris Swanson will shoot his turn. Catches a second dart triple. Let's see if he can follow it with a third. He does. He does. Great shot from Chris right there. Picking up 125.
JJ picks up 60. Slack, slack open for packs there, only 28. So see what Kim does. Is he uh, quick to get to the line right behind he him? He is. He's a quick player, I feel like. I think he knows what he's doing right right as he's walking up. Yeah. And Brian Henry says, pass. come on, Pax. And Carrie says, Kim's about to be a father in February. So He sure is. Congratulations yeah. to yeah, him and we Katie. We talking to him about that. That's awesome. He's really excited about that. All right, let's see who's going to leave them uh, so as a first look at the out on board two. Very accurate dart there to start the round. Let's see if he follows. He does. One more. And, and he, he gets does it, it with a ton of 80. Up to 11. So we move to 11. Tori says, come on, Jeffrey. He's going to need a good score here. Snag the one with the third. So Chris in really good shape in this as he'll have uh we'll have six starts at this. If he needs them, he could do it in two. Double top. And he gets it. He does, so he snaps off two straight wins off off JJ and uh JJ will be towing the line to start game three, down two to nothing. Looking to kick it into gear. Pax is uh, taking advantage of this game on board one right now. He's got the first look at 138. And Kim's uh, trying to get these uh, 332s down. Great first start. We did have some entries come in too. So actually from one of our players down there on the board, a 40 from Kim Wallace. So thank you for that. Thank you, Kim. We appreciate it. Kim, always one of the players to have plenty of entries in each month he sure is and we appreciate that because that helps us operate speaking of players who have a lot of entries in here's andy with another 15 entries for her so thank you thank andy you for we that. appreciate it looks like there might be a couple on the paypal as well let me check that out all right so pax is looking at our double top to get on the board. Yeah, and tied at one. And that would actually, you got to feel pretty good. And he gets it. One, one on board one. Thank you out there, Olivia Terry, with six uh, six entries for her. So Thank you, O. We appreciate it. Thanks, girl. Appreciate the love and the support, as always. So always. Get everything updated there. and Keep them coming in, if you don't mind, guys. We got a... Uh, Got lots of good stuff to give away and uh, more to add as it comes in. And oh, I was going to be shooting with uh, Chris Swanson at the Ohio Bow Shooter. That's awesome. Great team match right there. Yeah, I like that. Oh, that's uh, th that's coming up. Yeah, and it just uh, it is coming up. Yeah, the end of the month, right? I believe so. Yeah. Yeah, I was calling Olivia to, to uh, I had hit her up if she was playing trips down there because, you know, Topsky and uh, Tom hooked up. Yeah. And I was trying to find and she was, I think she got nervous thinking I was coming out of retirement. She was like, <laughs> no, no, I'm already set up. I'm like, not for me, dude. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> like, am I really that guy now? Like, <laughs> I love it. It's love like, it. No, seriously, not for me. Tom and, uh. That would have been a good matchup too. Oh man, that, did they find a female? I don't know. I don't know that they did. Uh, they um, they uh, they definitely set up for the the pro am event. Good. W individually, like they're they're. I know that uh, Topsky set up with Dan Burke, I believe, and Tom is playing with Chris Swanson. Nice. And then um, they're gonna play the open doubles together. So. That's awesome. Yeah, there's. Yeah, Chris. There's um. The giveaways are changed up this month, so there will now there will not be a live stream uh, as one of the giveaways. Yeah, he's just poking at Andy, I think. Uh oh. Oh, yes, I didn't see that. Yeah. <laughs> Big dart for JJ here is he's going to need this double sixteen to get it to two one, and, and he, he does. Takes it. And that's a clutch dart. 
It, it might not seem like much yeah, at this point in the match, but it's yeah. like, you know. It's important, the finishing here. It these, is. These it's are, a race to six. It comes yeah. up quick. Yeah. It does. Two guys with very good experience in a one that know their outs, that aren't going to make a ton of mistakes. So you don't want to be the one that's giving the free breaks away. You know, yeah. you, you, you just. You want to keep it close. You know. What's Pax going to do with that third dart? Catches a single. Pax having a good time tonight. He is. Yeah, yeah, he's been he texting was. and everything. It was yeah. nice chatting with yeah. him before yeah. he went down there. As good as I haven't seen him in so long. <laughs> you know, I, I know, I don't get yeah. to see him much either. Yeah. You know Kim's going for that. Snags a single 17. So you can see the ton 80 count at 11. Is this is the first set of round of eight? Or, or is there already... This is the first... No, the second, right? This is still... Tom's already in top four. We, we, yes. Pete, yeah, so, the, the, so this will put us to final four. Yes. So we're so cruising the last at in the 30. Yeah. yeah. It's funny because I felt like we have a giveaway. We don't. We're no, just, we yeah. don't. <laughs> it's usually we're racing to try to get everything updated and whatnot. Oh, and Kim hits a single 12. So Pax, look, Pax is looking at uh, double eight. To take the lead. And he gets it on the double four, but nonetheless finishes the dart. And he takes a two to one lead over Kim Wallace. Chris Swanson in pretty good control with the opening darts here, looking like maybe his third ton 80 of the match. Nope. Still a great round from Chris. 180 will leave JJ and out. It's a 1 6 1, but it will go. He could get home in six, but they all got to be perfect. There's one of them. Just low on the second. A little high on the third, but takes 100. So here comes Chris. Most likely should start on the 19. 419s will leave him a bullseye. He doesn't have to do it that way because of JJ being back at, at, one, at 241. Yeah. yeah, so you don't necessarily have to do it that way. No, probably a 14 here for 32. Six for, Six 40. for 40. Either way, either way works. He probably heard me, and he's like, I'm not going <laughs> to let Shoddy guess right in the booth up there. He got that double top. Um, I think he likes that double top. He, he clearly does. He, he's a uh, big dart for JJ. So to go up three to one. Snags a single. And he is coming back if he did miss it. Yeah. I don't expect. You don't like Great to start shot. missing those, though, because you, you just, you know, you just want to feel good on your doubles on a day like today. I agree. So he's, he's up 3-1 now. Appreciate you all out there as we're right at the 70-viewer mark at one hour and 48 minutes into it. So yeah, thank you, everyone. Thanks for, for all the shares. In. A lot of shares today. Appreciate that. And yeah, make sure you give us a like and a share and get these guys out there. We're uh, coming down to the final four. Yeah, we've got some real good matches coming up. Yep, Tom and uh, Meatballs uh, snagged the first two spots, right? They did. That is correct. Yep, both in uh, in well in game ten for for Tom and game yep. eleven for Meatball versus uh, versus Howard and. Those one of the great one matches. of the best old one games we've seen on that side. Lena, what's up, girl? How we doing? She says she's in uh, Sandusky, Ohio today. So, hope up, everything's Lena? all right with you out there, girl. Hope you're having a good night out there, Lena. So Kim's looking at 140. JJ popped a nice 140 for speaking of 140. Very nice 140. Popped a big buck 40 over there. What's Pax going to do here? Trip 19? I like the trip 19 from 109 with one dart, and that's what he does to leave 52. Kim's got to look at this. Listen, old Pax having a good old time down he there. He sure is. 
And I liked it just even though he'd never been here, he definitely came in feeling right at home all the time. He did. We, we played so much at Freer. He was always. Yeah, he like said he, this is his first time here. He was in our, yeah, he was in all the leagues where I ever ran there pretty much. And he played with Eric Sturgeon the one year. They did really well. He played, uh, so three that. games to one as Pax jumps out to uh, an impressive lead here. And here we go again, seeing these uh, scores evened up on each board. Six from one, two, four for JJ, though. Should be able to JJ get it to three, two. Great. Throwing a 42 just about. Yep. Really battling in this. What's he going to do? Is he going to stay on the – oh, 40 for double, double 11. 11. Oh, just outside. He's okay, but he's coming he's back. He is coming back. Lena says she's got Brent's hoodie out there. Oh, he's around here somewhere. He sure is. Pax picks up 81. Gets the high time to leave 20. 165 from 185. That's a sick shot. That's just, that's definitely going to pressure the out. It's and it's even going to step back from JJ and say, hey, pay attention. Make sure you get this. Do what you do. That's a sign of a good player there and make sure, yep, and probably that's what he decided was that he was going to split it. Very smart. Yep. Didn't want to go black, single, and leave himself 11 with one dart. That's an excellent play. Both times we've saw him split, yeah, he hit, too. He that's hit the it. second time yep. he split a, split a low number. He split Great 10. Match from them. He split 10 against Day Day, wasn't it? Yeah. And Chris really applied that pressure, uh, hitting that high ton to leave 20. Yeah, that was an excellent shot from Chris. These two opponents definitely came the furthest from each other. They couldn't yeah. be further apart. Yes. Because Swanson up north where he's at and JJ down where he's at, these two definitely had the, the two furthest, our, our furthest north player and our furthest south player. So That's funny. I wonder what the total distance would be traveled for those One two. One more. And There's he gets a, Go it. ahead and mark that buck 80 sure in there. Will. So number 12, we got a dozen. Let's see who gets the next one. So Kim's really taking advantage in this game. And he's down three to one, so he definitely wants this win. He's in pretty good shape where he should. This game here looks like JJ with a, well, he's alive for the nine. He is alive for the nine. Let's, yeah, he is. Let's not forget that ton 83 was an opening round, so. Oh, and trip one. And Kim takes it. So three to two and three to two. Great first dart from Chris. Look at how he holds that dart right there in his eye. I like that. Norquist does that too. Gannon's pretty close to his eye. Gannon's definitely, well. yeah. It was funny with Chris and Gannon, both wear glasses though. Yeah. Chris, or, I mean, the other two players where Swanson Chris. doesn't. Yeah, yeah. The ref. Big 123 start from Pack. There's a 177 for JJ. Look at that. Come on, JJ. And just walks back just I like know. another day Nonchalant. at the office. Just as cool as the other side yeah. of the pillow. <laughs> yeah. He wants to tie that up. This could be a match that could see another another tiebreaker side. And, I mean, oh, you just ain't lying. heavy hitters on the 13-inch side. I mean, you saw how good Howard played and you saw how yeah. good Brent played. It was, like, sad that one of the – I mean, still most of the ton 80s came out of that, that particular match. I mean, I'd say five of them. Yeah. Five of the 12 were in that match. JJ Big finish from JJ it. to pull even. So, good darts. Great darts from JJ. Tying it up. Look at Pax over here. One more, and he gets it. Pax with the 180. Baker's dozen. Baker's 13, dozen. baby. That's how many That's I how many hat more. tricks. That's how many hat tricks we had. Hey, there's still the, the yep. yeah, there still could happen. Final fours and finals were with the, hot, the, you know, what should be the four hottest players. And half of these matches. These matches are only about yeah. halfway over, so. Actually, I would say between 19 and 23, where we guess is – Probably I think where it's it looks like where it's good. headed, yeah. Pax gets that win. What a shot. 
Takes out a 115. Pax is balling. Throwing just about a 42. Pax is balling right now. I'm just going to go out and good. say it. He's balling. One thing I learned about Pax is that he listens to country music, too. Hey, how yeah. could you be surprised by that? <laughs> how could you be surprised by that? He'll also rock some hot boys in the 1999, oh, yeah. though. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like, For sure. He definitely. That's what I took him as. <laughs> I remember a long time I put bling bling on a jukebox sometime yeah. one time and it came on and he was like, Who played this? And I was like, That's me, dog. Did we just be Mike best Francisco friends? with the PayPal, it sounds like. Yeah, oh he he loved it. So let let's see. Uh, Mike jumping in with some entries there. Appreciate you. Thank you, Mike. We appreciate that. Get you up that. on the list. Thirty entries for him too, so appreciate that. Nice fifty dollar donation, my man. Thank you, Mike. So I have to say a little bit of, of these two matches. I, I'm not surprised at all that Chris and JJ are tied, but I'm a little surprised with, with Pax having a 4-2 lead over Kim, the way he played in the opening set. And, Kim was on and Pax fire. had to wait a set. Not that I didn't expect them to perform, but, you know, your opponent gets that warm-up match where he's already feeling good. Well, he's got I feel a win like that under could be belt. a little advantage sometimes. It is. For sure. It is, you know. Mike says, love you guys. Keep doing what you're doing. Appreciate that, brother. That's Thank how we you, operate. Is, uh, we wouldn't be able to do it without hey, you guys. It's, it's what makes it all go. That's where the money comes from when you throw it into an event like this. But put some money in there. Oh, he tries no the no look. look no on JJ, look. too. JJ, wow. the king of the no look. <laughs> oh, Jay, this is, that's going to get the big dog fired. You see that? <laughs> Not. What's that up, Brian great. Captor? What's up, Alan? Hope you guys are having a good night. That was awesome. Appreciate that love, though, Mike. That's for real. Yep, we appreciate it. I can't believe Chris. I love it. No I love it. These Amber guys are says, a "Let's blast. go, Tom Keller." Yes, he's sitting waiting in the top four, so Tom's in a good spot today. Oh, and he's going for the double, double on it, and he and gets he it. Gets it. He is feeling some type of way. He sure is taking the lead, four to three. He no looked in the <laughs> driving two hours to play singles and you're in. I just love it. I love the enthusiasm. Me too. These guys are having a blast. Jake Johansson, what's up, my man? Thanks for the light. What up, Jake? So a little bit of a slack open from JJ there. Let's see if uh Amber says Tom's Tom's her kid's granddad, so I love it. Rooting them on back there. We'd love to see the families oh, yeah, tuning we love, in. Love the family support. Yep. That's another way we operate. People overlook a lot of times is people being able to to, to have the freedom to be able to get away and, and get out here and participate. So Yeah, and if you guys have family members that aren't on Facebook but want to watch, if they go to midnightdartclub.com, they can catch the stream on that website. So you don't have to be uh, Facebook participant uh, to watch it. And uh, Pax takes that. So he is up five to two now on board one. Pax is just cruising over there. Yeah, that's a good point that Katie makes. There, there is, uh, you know, we do know there's a lot of people out there that it's another 180. Nice. From Chris. It counted, right? It 14? It did. JJ coming right behind with the same. Picks up 140. Yeah, so if, if, if uh, you're looking for somebody to watch that that, um, that doesn't have Facebook, if you send them to MidnightDarkClub.com, if we are live, it, it's streaming right there on the website. And uh, I believe you can access some of the older footage as well, too. But you, yep. you definitely can get all the player profiles, and you can watch the live streams from there. And uh, it's uh, it's great that's something Josh put together. We're still building, and uh, – getting some of our player stuff and our pictures and stuff but uh it's up and operational and uh it's great i think you'll like it check it out check it out midnightdarkclub.com what up crusher see you out there thanks for the like crucial spot in this game here is chris toes the line from 199 with a four to three lead i agree and a uh, big one for kim too 
Because Pax is looking to take Well, this. Kim's all in over there. Kim's win or go home type of a spot. Yep. And Pax is uh, continuing to keep the pressure on with another 140. Kim's still in a good spot, though. Oh, yeah. JJ's looking to bring this down. Great round from JJ. JJ knows how to dig deep, that's for sure. But this is, problem is going to be getting Chris to miss this 60. He's been pretty lethal on that double 20. And with two darts at it. Picks it off and goes up five games to three. So JJ is going to have to win two on the trot here to get to the 13 inch side. Tough He's going to need Kim a hold there. here. A hold and a break, though. The, the break's the hard one. The hold's not too bad with his scoring power. One forty. I like it. Wonder who's picking the music down there? Is it Nine Inch Nails? It is. Or Rage no. Against the Machine? Killing in the name of maybe. Joel says, great shooting partner to Pax. I can't tell. Pax really is playing well today. Pax is shooting Pax is well. towing the line to close the match out. He is at 64. Huge win if he does this. Oh, that wasn't. Uh... So he leaves himself five. And Kim's capable of taking this out. Not with that first dart. Five's not a fun number. So we'll see what happens here. And he busts. So Kim's looking at that 104 to stay alive. These are the kind of shots that could turn matches around. Gonna need a 60. Well, 48 would have worked as well, but a little, little bit frustrated looking there maybe on that third dart. Pack still at five. Anything could happen. Yeah, I mean, anything could still happen. These with this weird five. little numbers, even, the, even the, the big pros screw them up. So, But not, not today, today as Pax is going to go ahead and get that done, and we're going to sweep over to board two. Big dogs locking horns. So congratulations to Pax going into the top four with uh, Tom and Meatball. And actually, Chris Swanson's going to have a shot at 104 to move into the final four. He sure is. So 104. All JJ could do is watch at this point. But if he does miss this, JJ will have two darts at 70, and he'll need a break to stay alive. Steph and Brian Henry both say great shooting Pax, and I got to agree, well, excellent, excellent first-round performance from Pax as he yep. wins six games to two. And he gets Wow, it. Swanee what puts it away. Shot. So uh, great we round see from these guys. Uh, as that pulls, pulls to an end there, and uh, Chris Swanson will move into the Final Four with... Tom with, Keller? Uh, with Tom Keller. Pax? And Meatball. Yep. So here we go. Here we go. That's going to shake up those picks. Uh, I don't know how many people had. It sure is. I think there were a couple upsets there. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I, I would say that, uh, you know, you, you could deem both those matches possibly as an upset. Just oh, yeah. going off the votes of who was yeah. going to win today. Kim had a lot of votes, and JJ also had a lot of votes. I agree. I'm going to mute my mic for a second. We're going to get the uh, new names up here. Yeah, we'll get this get this updated and let you guys hang out for a second. If you need a quick break, go ahead and take one. But we got some great Final Four action coming your way in just a couple of minutes. So go ahead and do what you do. And uh, I'll update those scoreboards. We'll give it a camera view look. And uh, keep an eye on the club. And you can see it's empty. <laughs> yeah, do you think? You can go right up the side. I just didn't want them.
So as you can see, the place is cleared out down there as a lot of the players are on break and updating the brackets and whatnot. Just like that, everybody was gone. I was trying to find the bracket here. I think, uh, I think I lost it in the pins. You can see our ref down there, always working hard, though. So, anyways, we're uh, I'm going to find out who these matchups are, and I'll be back, guys. Stay tuned. we got Final Four action coming your way. All right, just a couple of the guys checking out there, getting ready to take off. So they just wanted to say bye before they hit the road. Denny and uh, JJ have a pretty long ride, so. Just get them updated on the donation list as the uh, players are always really generous around here, and that's very nice, so. Get all this straightened out. We'll wait for my partner to get back, and some of these guys make it down to the boards. It looks like on board one we're going to have Chris Swanson versus Tom Keller, which is pretty funny because they're playing together next – or not next month, the end of this month at uh, the Ohio Bull Shooter together. So a couple of partners squaring it off here. And then Pax will be – Pax will be facing off with Meatball. It says on my chart here, it says Pax versus Tom Keller, but let me fix that. Olivia checking in. How you doing out there, girl? Playing any darts somewhere tonight or just hanging out at home watching? What uh, What's going on with you? We're just making our way into the final four here. Is uh, both these guys? Uh, both these guys just got done with their their round eight matches. So I don't know if uh, board two is warming up as well. Yeah, it looks like both. Uh, well, I guess not. You can see the ref doing his thing back there. He's got a laptop. He's got the looks like the Happy's Pizza must have got here as he's got a nice little plate in front of him. So Chris coming off a really good win and uh, over JJ in that last match. Looks like Katie's coming back. It looks a little chilly. I'm pretty sure it's pretty cold outside. If you guys have been here before, you know the setup and. 
the back slider right to the patio. Just two weeks ago, you would it was be sweating out there and yep. needed uh, needed to find shade. Today, people are borrowing hoodies. It is chilly out. How the food look? Did you get any, or I didn't did you? Go in there. Oh, okay. I, I noticed Chris is Chris is munching back there, so nice. must have showed it up. Sure is. JJ, JJ, Kim, and uh, Danny all stopped by and said bye, so I think they have okay. all hit the road. All right, we're down to the final four, guys. Stop and left some pretty generous tips here and uh, got them uh, updated on the list. So Very nice. Thanks, everyone. Jennifer, thanks for the like out there. Thanks for the like, Jennifer. Hope you're having a good night. All right, let's hear some predictions. Chris and Tom, and we got Meatball and Pax. What are your picks to go to the finals? Losers will get their money back, so uh, 100 bucks a piece for third and fourth. That is correct. Nobody, nobody left won't at least get their money back. You got, uh, and I'm sure at this point that's not what they want. They know that they're two wins away from, from not not just the win, but a nice little payday too. I would say from what we saw, the best form we probably saw from Chris. Oh yeah, I, I feel like the be, the best scoring, the best finishing. And, and uh, knocking off a, a big opponent in, in in the meantime as well. But we also saw Tom be tested as him and Josh maybe struggled a little bit with a couple doubles, but he was able to dig deep and, and find a late win and pack 6-2 over Kim Wallace. Meatball on the 13 inside versus yeah. Howard. So, I mean, this is – it's got to be kind of wide open. It is going to be huge. Are we doing one board now? Oh, uh, I think they're going to rock them both at okay. the same time. All right, cool. Which is cool because 930, it's like, hey, you know what? We almost could do the one board because it's early, but it's like, hey, if we, you know. Why not? If we do, then it pushes 1230, 1 o'clock. Yeah. We do it this way. and I like it. You know, so. So here we go. Sorry, we were just clarifying with Pax. He wasn't sure if both matches were going to be played at the same time. And they are. Look at the notifications. Too late, Domino's. Too late. We've already ordered. <laughs> so we got some predictions coming in. Yeah, who's going with uh, who? Looks like... Uh, Kathy says, come on, Tom. Mama's car needs a new starter. I like it. That's inspiration. That's inspiration. It sure is. Appreciate all the family love coming in. Milo, thanks for the like. Milo. Going with Grandpa Tom. Ronnie Max got Tom. See what happens here. It's going to be a great matchup between these two. Tom's speed looks good today when that dart's flying flat like that. A dangerous player when the scoring's going in. He sure is. But we've already saw Chris. Chris was all over the trip 20 in his match, too. There should be a whole bunch of trip 20s in this one. I can't find the lion. Let's, uh, let's split screen this action a little bit. So I'm going to say it might be a little easier to find people that pick the winners with the crowd here. I think a lot of the, uh, a lot of the early favorites picked heavy or have already found their way to the exit. I agree. And they are corking on board one. They are. Looks, looks like a tie. Like a tie. Snags another that one in there. That's a good dart there. Let's see if Tom can slide it in there on that right side. Just kind of drop it in. He went for it. Just outside. So Chris is going to start us off.
Here we go. So let's see, who's going to get the first 1080 of the top four? We'll see. Well, Chris Might is going to have the early. first shot at it. Picks up 125. Great start there. Looks like board two is corking two, so we're going to get that one underway shortly. Brian Henry, hilarious. Pax needs cash to play more PPD leagues. <laughs> <laughs> or cash app. He cash app his entry today. Yep. I said, come on, cash man. Cash app. I was like, I guess we could do it that way for you, Pax. So Chucky's going to go with Chris and Pax. I like those options, too. Looks like Meatball's going to start them off. Amber says Team Tom Keller. I feel like we're going to see uh, some close games between these four. Definitely potential for uh, one of these to end up on the 13-inch side. I agree. So Chris picking up 43 there. We'll see what Tom does. He could uh, take advantage of this. Picks up 121, not a bad round. Both boards 121. I'm going to play the lotto tonight. Never a bad time to do that. Just so wheel, wheel that number, 121. Yeah. Dollar wheel. Chris says, I need to see my draft sheet to remember who I'm rooting for. Uh, same here. I can't <laughs> remember. I think we both have two players in this final four, Chris. guys are rolling on those trip 20s I, I feel like i i have tom and swanee and i feel like you have brent and uh pax if i remember right but i'm not 100 percent sure on that but i think if i looked at the list andy also says uh, 54 to leave 36 so let's see if Tom can swipe a three-digit right off the rip for a break here. Triple-double. Well, he's going to give himself two darts at the double. That's as good as you could do. Let's see if he finishes. He, he does. Sure Only does. needs one. So Andy says Pax to take it home. And Tom's able to get that first win. That's a good win to get on the, get on the sheet there, especially... Uh, Great win from Tom. You know, Final Four, every win now means something. Not that it didn't earlier, but I think they're a little bigger now as you get closer to the uh, the final the final oh, yeah. game. I think there's a little added pressure with it. Nice round from Chris there, picking up 125. So Meatball's going to have the first look at the out against him and Pax. Big score for Pax, though, and he could actually really uh, really pressure that 105. 105's no gimme. It's a, it's an out he could take, but Brent sometimes uh, will take the scenic route on those he mathematical sure outs, but he seems to always get to the finish. So I agree. What's up, JJ and Carlina? Hope you guys are having a good night out there. There's Thanks Pax for the light. tacking on another buck 80 on the game. Yeah. Fifteen. Great first start from Brent. Meatball. Not bothered as he's gonna give himself an out at the double one dart. Does he hit it? He does. He Clutch sure does. finishing from Brent. You know, I talked with Brent for a little bit before he came because he obviously hadn't been here for a while. He was two and zero in the Grudge series yep. and. and uh, he really said, uh, 
he really said he was feeling really good about his game and he was excited to come back. And uh, so far, he is not disappointed. Look at Tom. Add a ton 80 on there. Number 60. Ah! I'm starting to feel my 19s on the video. 23 still looking pretty good. Pax nearly throws another. 23 is looking real good right about now. So Chris now, I would like to see seen how many people would have had this for their final four. Yeah. So as tough as this field was. and, and uh, I agree. These guys all played so really it well it to get here. So it does say the 181 when we punch it, yeah. Right? That's what I just yeah. said. Yeah, yeah, he definitely heard him. What's that guy's name? Russell Bray. Yes. <laughs> Big Russ. My man Crusher says, Pax is my dude to win it all. I like it, Crusher. I'll tell you what, I love watching Pax in here with his flex on. He's playing good. He's he having a good time. Good. Always repping the South Paws. <laughs> Amber says, I'm not even, <laughs> I don't even know what I'm really watching, but we're over here rooting. So I love hey, it. Hey, <laughs> that's good. That's Grandpa doing work. It sure is. That's where you want to see his darts going right there. <laughs> yeah. Trip 20. So great round from Tom. See if Chris takes us 24. I was surprised he Pax with the, another uh, 180. Uh, he needs his own counter. He's at uh, Seagram's. He's uh, sipping on. Uh, is something. Pax has got himself a seat at the table, that's for sure. Look at Chris Swanee with the big out there to pull even with his partner for the Ohio Doubles. That's a fun way to take 24 right there. Hey, sometimes you got to take the scenic route. Oh, yeah. Let's see what Pax does here. What's up, Letitia? Thanks for the like. Hope you're having a good night. Probably just start on the 20. You've got a big lead. There's no reason to go bowl, but you did. And you can, actually. Look at this. Look and at he this. Takes it. What an out. Pax is just a monster right now. He is. Definitely came to play tonight. Shooting up. John, not wrong. 42. John says I've thrown for years with packs and leagues, and I can tell he's hitting his groove. You can see his swag, his walk. He's feeling it. He's got that final swagger. But I guarantee you, Brent ain't ready to throw in the towel just yet. Brent's played a few, his share of finals around here with the when the cash is on the line. Brent's always one of our top dogs. Oh yeah. But I tell you what, right now Pax is gonna he's gonna push anybody to the distance the way he's playing tonight. Meatball's a pretty relaxed player, too. He doesn't uh, show much emotion when he's throwing. I would say all four of those are pretty calm players, right? To You're absolutely the last right. Four. Yeah. You might hear a hoot and a holler from Pax. Not too often, though. Maybe a little fist pump or something. but Usually it's when he misses a number, not when yeah, he hits one. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> if he's the emotional one in the crowd, it's definitely not. Yeah, him. You know what for I mean? Sure. Like, <laughs> Nice round from Tom there, picking up 140. But Swanson has the advantage in this right now. Boy, he is throwing some zip on those darts, he is. man. They are just, even the ones that are missing are just out Does right there. Does he still there. hold that fourth dart? You know what? Let's watch for that. His signature. He's Usually got to. Usually it's a house dart, too. He's got to. <laughs> Meatball picking up 81. Looks like he only has three. Let's watch that hand. Yeah, he's only carrying three. What? He is. Because he went to the face after. Yeah. yeah, he always carried four. Yeah, I, that could have been gone a while because, like I said, I haven't seen him. Yeah, and it was usually a house dart. Yeah. <laughs> so Chris does have a look at this. And now he's... My man Chance, what's happening? What's I'm up, glad Chance? I saw Chance like that. Don't let me forget. I told Brent to remind him too. Also, I got Chance's uh, prize. We'll make sure we get that to Meatball before he leaves. Yeah, definitely. I got to make sure I grab Michael Boone's hat too. Large? It was large, right? Large, okay, yeah. yep. We're actually out of smalls. We sold the last couple of smalls today. Nice. Yeah. 
We got the the regular large, and we got the meathead size that I wear, that me and Sheehan wear. I think Sheehan <laughs> likes the XL, double XL. It probably he is does. Tim size. Yeah, it is. No, we joke about it because we were the only two that he used to I buy. I love it. So Swanee looking for a big double eight here. He's going to have one dart at double four. He gets it. His Definitely finishing is it. tough. So he goes up two to one. Crush said he got rid of that fourth dart blankie a while ago. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I like the name blankie. That's yep. how I read that. Dan Taylor, what's happening out there? What's up, Dan? Hope you're having a good night. Well, letting it go seems to uh, be working for him. The best was uh, earlier, I think, with Pax when we thought he pulled up and it was someone going to my yeah, neighbor's oh house. My and we're like, it was so bad. Yeah. We're like, wow, Pax lost From a, a lot distance, of weight. From a distance, it kind of looked like it could have been Pax if he had like a new haircut and tighter jeans and lost <laughs> what the guy was 30 pounds lighter, maybe or so. We're, oh, we're, like, and so Chris walked like, out wow. to go talk to him and tell him where He's the, in a the guy gets shirt. out. Yeah, <laughs> it was it was really fun. it was it was quite a unique moment. It was hilarious. Chris just out there kicking rocks like, hey, yeah. how are you? He thought it was Pax, and then he had to make up a Definitely conversation to go with. It was awkward, for oh, sure. The guy was, like, reparking his car four different yeah. times. We're like, that's definitely yeah. Pax. <laughs> Definitely was not. And he was out there. He's got the rap shirt on, yeah. painted shoes. He's waiting to talk to this guy. Like, oh, who's the great. creep? It was hilarious. Oh, look at him. Just wires that big out. Yeah, it was definitely hilarious. Because we were convinced it was Pax. I was like, <laughs> we well, sure you know, were. I hadn't seen him since. It's been a while. I, I, I was like, man, Pax. And, I, and then even the truck didn't really suit him. I was like, <laughs> Pax would not be in no lifted ass truck. He I might know. listen to country, but not that much. You know what I'm saying? Like, Oh, it was hilarious. <laughs> so let's see. After missing the double bowl for the finish here, Brent's going to probably go 532. I think he's going to He do could go 13 24 or something like that. I mean, I, I I don't really like the 13 cuz if you catch that triple, <laughs> you're going to bust it. And he did. Well, he had the double. Our scores are right, correct? At top and uh Yep. They are still on game 4. So one dart for the double. Ooh, and hits a single. So Pax has a look at the 64. Chris said, thanks, guys. He looked at yeah. me like I was weird. <laughs> Double eight. Pax is just Makes it look broken, easy. man. I mean, he didn't even take us. He didn't step. think about it. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's throwing some smooth darts tonight. Pax. Pax playing so good the, the blind people are going to come out Just to listen to him play <laughs> but, Like man this guy is just Not missing today He is not I have to agree stuff that was some fire And Brent doing what you're supposed to do you Just keep throwing tons oh, yeah. like alright Yeah he's not throwing <laughs> yeah. bad and it's come down to the, the outs, really. And it will. You know in a long match like this, like, hey, yeah. a guy a guy could be hot, and you just got to keep winning the games you start. But when he continues to throw these 180s like this, I mean. Why not? Fire. We're up to 18 now. 18. 18. The Peyton Manning I think mark. Pax has the last three. Uh, I, yeah, and I wouldn't be surprised if he has about seven of them now, too. Uh, but uh, you're right on the last three. He's got all the. No, no, I think Chris had one. Yeah, you're right. I think Chris did get one. Yep. Chris is looking at double 10. He threw a big 139 to uh, get here. Just missed the uh, double bowl hitting. The so Pax sweating the nine darter here. And Chris goes up three to one. Four. Ooh, here's the front four. What up, PJ? He stays right in the triple two. Did Pax go out to TOC or no? Was he in Kansas City? Um, I'm not sure. I don't think he was out there, be, uh, but I could be wrong. So Pax could uh, 
throw something here to leave himself with the first look at him now. <laughs> Most likely he will. Brian clarifies he didn't go, so. Okay. Thanks, Brian. Travis tuning in. What's up, Travis? I know you guys had a little family get together tonight. Wasn't sure if you were Fish went over fry, there. I believe. Fish fry and a little get together at uh, Jake and Ashley's for Margaret's birthday. So hope oh, you guys nice, are having a good nice. night. Man, great job by Jake and Ashley on the cake referral. That's where I got the referral for for nice. Danny's cake. What's up, Maya? Saw you Ma shooting out at TOC. You shot yep. uh, very well in the event I saw you in. Maya says he's been aging well <laughs> lately. <laughs> I tell you what, Pack's in good shape again here if he finds two trip 20s. So he'll leave himself at 160. You have Brent's in pretty good shape to pull even here. Yep, 102 is not a bad uh, three. All right, that was the GOAT checking in, saying he was going to get on the road. Just wanted to come say bye to me and Katie before he left, so. Always nice seeing the GOAT. Yep. What a tough first match he had, too. You know, yeah, it's like did. played really well. The scoring was good, and that's the hardest part about these events, being single elimination. But It is. Honestly, if they were double elimination, we'd never get done. It's already 10 It would take a while. We, we still got a whole shooters. final to go. Oh, yeah. You know, we're only, you know, it's. Four games in on both of these when, when it could be up to 11, so. No, I agree. This is the way it should be. I love that the players have no problem doing it, though. They'll throw the 100 bucks up and play a single elimination tournament. And it's good for the viewers. I think the viewers like to see that, you know. If they're uh, high buy-ins and high payouts, and these guys yeah. all came to play. That's for Creates sure. Creates pressure situations. So you usually get to see how guys perform when – when you know that when the heat is on, so to speak. Swanson starting to open up a little bit of a lead there, but Tom can pull right back in this match with a big 140 here. Travis, you're hilarious. <laughs> That's hilarious, Trav. <laughs> that is awesome. I hope you're wearing your hat around him right now, too. Did Farm get his yet? He oh, he did. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think he drove over just because Travis. That was said hilarious. It. He came like 7 like, I know in the I'm going to see my brother day. today. <laughs> yeah. It was like a real early. Me and Scotty were here. So it was probably a Wednesday because usually Scotty's here Wednesday mornings. I and love uh, it. <laughs> he pulled up. So Tom looking for a big round here, but I don't see Chris missing that 40. He's been pretty good on that double 20. One dart left here, though. This is a tricky shot. You need, need a triple just in case he does miss and he, and he finds it. it. Good job by Tom. Great third dart there. And he gets it. Effortlessly there. So Chris goes up 4-1. to one. We're going to go into game six. Pax and Brent tied two to two, putting on a good performance over there from both yeah. of them as well. Good job by Brent to, to keep himself in it as Pax has been playing so strong. You know, oh, like yeah. sometimes it, it could get a little, you know, frustrating or, or slightly intimidating when your, your opponent just continues to throttle the scoring and he's not missing his doubles yeah i agree that's the fastest i ever seen pax walks look how fast he's getting back you could just oh, tell yeah. he's like feeling it he's in he's definitely in his own i like it i like when you get a new player down here um and they just first time success it's really yeah. fun to see yeah when, when they come because sometimes people struggle the first time just because they expect it to be more. Like Pac said, he was like, man, I watch on TV. I just assume the area is huge. The I get down there. The so big. It's yeah. like it's not, it's not really as big as you think. It, it, yep. There's plenty of room, but it, it's not. Come on, Tom Keller. Way to go, Tom. Putting us up to 19. As we sit on the hill, waiting on that 20th on 80. Speaking of checkouts, there's another one by Pax. 104. Averaging 100 points around. Travis says Farm's wearing his hat, too. I love it. Following you per usual. <laughs> oh, hold on. All right, so Tom's going to 
be the first to potentially leave an out here for himself. 113. And Brent starts off with a ton over there on board two. So Chris snags 100 there. Tom's looking to take this 113 out and uh, get another point on the board for him. Still looking good though. He's gonna have another three uh, darts at it with Chris sitting at 201. Pack started off kind of slow. We'll see what he does with these next three. Brent needs to take advantage of that to uh, try and tie it up. Look at Chris over here. Great round from Chris to leave 78. That really put him back in this game. Double top for Tom. And he gets it. Great round from Tom, making it four to two. And Chris will start that one off. Scotty's back in action. And I will be as soon as I turn this mic on. <laughs> Almost forgot. Come in here blabbing away. So what do we got? We still got a 3-2 packs lead and Chris Swanson with a 4-2 lead. Yep. Tom just took a win to make it 4-2. streaks out there on my snapchat me and katie working hard back here behind the scenes in the booth meatball 180 did i miss it sorry guys 180. so there it is number 20. i think my 23 is uh gonna get uh it's I gonna be close. Yeah, I it, think it's it should get, be higher. It might get yeah. past. It might it, get past at this point. I think it's gonna get past now. We still have a whole finals, and these matches aren't over. Yeah, and these guys have been the ones that've been kind of tacking them on there quite I'm a few. I'm curious on what the highest number was, cause this is crazy. This Brenton and Pax is a, a just a heavyweight fight over there. It's it like is. just you look three, and you think Pax is, is taking control, fight for sure. and then here comes Brent back. <laughs> I didn't hear no time. bell. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the share out there, Trav. Thank you, Travis. We appreciate it. And I love our, our 180 counters are on there, oh, too. Thank Look you at, so much. No, we need you. So yep. I appreciate it. Three in a row. All righty, that was our Day Day checking on us here in the booth, make, seeing what we needed. Yep, thank you, Day Day. Tom Buck 80, did we get another 180 there to 21? One oh. Thank you, guys. We got. Hey, I tell you what, our counters really help, man. No, we need you. And Tom hit. Oh man, Josh says 46. Just missed that double bowl for that win. It's a big turn right here. Big turn for for Swanson. And he, he's going to give himself two darts at the double. What a huge triple. And he and gets it with one. It. His doubling's really good today. He's been shooting great. Yeah. His outs have been clutch. I'm always impressed by the long ride to like come in. It's, a, it's kind of a lot of pressure when you drive that far to play oh, yeah. in a field that, that's, let's just be honest, a pretty tough field tonight. It is and, a tough uh, field. You, you know that it's single elimination. You can get bounced right away, and it, it's like, man, when guys come in, they walk right in and start dealing. That's 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 impressive. 
I agree. No one's really close here. You guys, even you guys take 25 minutes to get yeah. here. And you know what I mean? Like, Dady's, he's out there right by you. And Meatball's close. Pretty sure Howard's, uh, pretty sure Howard's pretty close. Howard's pretty close, yep. I believe. Oh, this is my first time getting mango, and I really like it. Mango, everything is awesome. I know. I saw it. I was like, I've never yeah. seen a mango profile. I, the mango Ciroc was my jam. That is very good. I see GA in the comments. He knows about that. He knows about the mango Ciroc's over here. <laughs> Mine is a mango Propel. Yep, not quite as strong as the Ciroc. No, no drinking in the booth. Same visibility, though. You can see right through it. <laughs> so Look here, pack sitting on 76. Yeah, and if, if anything we've seen all day, you're going to see first dart triple 20. He's going to have two darts at that double eight. 16 for 40. Ooh, just he's okay. Single. He's coming back. But if you're Brent, got time. you're Brent, you're thinking, hey, buck 80 here. I leave myself on double tops and I could uh, maybe make Pex think about it a little more. Tom needed that ton. He's uh, playing to stay alive in this uh, match with Chris uh, up five to two. Gary says he, he, he knew for sure on the Ciroc and he likes the KD, the Propel as well. Nice. I'm glad I saw it. There's a buck 80. There we go. Wow. So, got the mallards on the uh, ton 80. Duck, duck for the 22. And Pax takes that to go up four to three on Meatball. Meepa always looks like he's ready. He's just always ready to go. I love it. He is. He's not too worried about nothing. He's in a tight match. But look, he looks nice and loose. And that's the way you should play. That's a good loose mentality. Although he's not losing his concentration, I wouldn't say. He just, just stays nice and loose. He sure does. Good start. So Chris Watson's gonna have three darts at 56 to win the match. Let's see what Tom does to pressure. Buck 80 will, Buck 80 will put him, uh, put him on double eight. Snag the one on the first. Ronnie, I, I, many nights with the three olives and uh, and meal or mile, however people pronounce it. That was always good with the water. So 16 for two darts for double 20 to move to the finals. He's gonna back it up. Think about it just a I like bit. The pause. He has snapped Nothing this this that. dart and this double twenty all day long, and it's hard to think he's gonna miss it. But it is for the match, and he's able to advance. So Chris will be playing for the final. We will move you to board number two. And that's the end of this heavyweight fight over here. This is a battle. The big dog is. The big dog is battling. So congratulations to Chris going into the finals and a great run from Tom. Shot a great night here and uh, got his money back. Yeah, made a good run and, and ran into a, a tough player. And, you know, I don't think Tom has any reason to hang his head. I no. think uh, Tom, as always, puts up a good performance here. And, you know, he had a grindy, a tough first match with Josh right off the bat where that match could have went either way. Too. Yeah, I that could have went. Josh easily could have could have got through that match as well. And. Just like Tom did, and uh, so Meatball doesn't have an out yet. Why is it only say one match, one ma one eighty? Oh, because it's on board two, maybe. No, but we had them counting on both, so it must have stopped. It's twenty-two though, right? I remember saying Mallards. Yes. Yeah, because for Duck Duck. They said that's Whatever what they call that means. Well, on the, on the poker channel, they always called paraduces oh, mallards, okay. like ducks, because they're the paradox. So. Quack, quack. Quack, quack, exactly. All right, Meatball looking at uh, double 19. Too tight up. Will he split it? Yeah, I doubt he'll split it. He's going right after it. Look, how, look at him. He's dialed in right at that double 19. So three for double eight. So Pax is looking at 135. 
We'll just take that down so don't confuse everyone. Okay. Right now. Yeah, we're going to take it down to not confuse Just for you guys. a second. We'll put it back up when we get to board one. I bet on the board one it's up, but I, I'm not going to switch to it while Pax is shooting what could be one of the biggest shots of the night. If he takes this out here to get to the hill, this is just insane. Can't do it now. Not going to do it. Could have started on the bull to maybe have a two way shot there. Oh, he said it. John said every time you go to a single board, it does that. So. Well, we know it's 22 and there's. Yep. yep. And no one's hitting one right now. Fours. Yep. Fours it is. So the official count is at 22, so we'll keep track manually here just so we don't have to reset the timer. And so, the finals will be on board one, so we'll be good after yeah. this. So this is a big game here. The winner of this game will have a chance to put it away without having to play on the 13th. The loser here will have to win on the 13th inside. We'll have to win a game and win on the 13th to get to the final. Snipes a trip one and a five. So if you're Pax, you're looking to uh, take advantage of that first three from Brent. But the way these guys are playing, it could go anyway. Good switch by Pax. He's always been a really good 19 shooter. Carrie says, go Pax, go. Picks up 60. Definitely gives Pax an advantage right there. He's definitely the, the controlling uh, controlling interest in this game, I would say. If, if, you, if, you're, if you're picking a spot, you want his spot. Definitely still got to stay on the throttle, though. Switches again. Not a bad switch. Not much to say when it gets like this. All yeah. you can really do is watch. You know, I know. like I'm sitting That's here what like I felt yesterday yeah. too. I even mentioned that to you. It's like sometimes you just don't even have anything to say because it's the, so close. The darts does the talking. It sure does. This shot right here is actually this definitely is a shot that's gonna gonna kind of set the tone for this game. If Pax Pax could kind of pull away here and really put himself in control. Yeah, let's hear from you guys uh in the comments. Who do you think's gonna snag this win? Is it gonna be Pax or Meatball for the final set? to go to the finals. So there is a slight kink in the armor there, and Brent, a 180 will leave 152. But Brent's got some work to do if he wants to be the first one to five. I love that Pax thought the place was huge, though. Don't I know. You? That Wasn't was so it funny. funny? Yeah. <laughs> and I guess for people, if they watch and they see it on the yeah. TV, it probably looks bigger on a big screen TV. Oh, for and, sure. Well, and especially when they're all practicing, you have 10 grown yeah, men down there. Yeah, it's, it, it's, yep. it's crowded, but once everyone comes upstairs and it's just the four playing, definitely have a lot more room. Almost saw number 23 there. Yep, great shot from Pax, leave 86. Crystal says loves the commentary picks. Some, a lot of times she wonders who's in the booth and get them Pax. So, yeah, that was a... Uh, Josh, Josh uh, surprises with that one. When sometimes he, he comes did. home from work at midnight and just does yeah. cool stuff, and we all like wake up, like, oh wow, look oh, wow. what Josh did. I know. <laughs> he built the dark case and updated the stream. <laughs> He's doing a lot of good things over here. Hope you had a good time in TOC, Crystal. I miss you. Haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, no, they did a lot of driving. I remember seeing yeah, they the. Did. Oh man, and then Abe came home and turned around and drove right to Florida. How about that? Hopefully he's safe down there if he's listening. Yep. Sounds like he got down there safe, so hopefully everything goes good for him while he's there. So look at Pax here with a shot at 25, 25 to get 5-4 and be one game away from making the finals. 
I would assume he's going to go for the 9 double 8. And he just smacks it home. So five games to four. Brent's going to have to hold throw or his night is over. He sure is. Pax showed up today. I, I'm really impressed with this game we're seeing from Pax. Same. I haven't seen him in a while, and uh, he's definitely shooting well. I'm glad he wasn't wearing that Smedium, that guy we thought was him. <laughs> I don't know if he could have. I don't know if he could have shot in that shirt. It looked like same it was, color shirt, but I one was, was long yeah. sleeves. I mean, and there the was no was way. Impeccable. Yeah, it was. We had just read <laughs> it. Just read a message that he was right here, and <laughs> so funny. But in hindsight, like, there's no way. He, I guess maybe Pax is one that could shoot in long sleeves. You don't see too many people that that wear long sleeves to darts. I it cannot. never was for me, but some people may. Drives May me enjoy crazy. it. Brent battling down the stretch here. He sure you can is. hear the Rocky Balboa music playing slightly in the background. Is <laughs> he has advantage of it right now? So if yeah, he can keep he's that got up, a, then uh, we'll see another thirteen inside from Brent. It, yeah, and he's he's now and, and how did he start that thirteen inside? Remember Insane. triple triple one forty. Dom says Pack was Pax was throwing the same fire at uh, at Oak last night. Nice. So let's see what Brent does here. He's gonna be looking for a triple. He gets it. One more. Still got a good uh, lead on Pax here. Yep. So really looking like it's going to be uh going to be a 13 inside coming here. 22 22 180 so far. So far. I'm going to sneak that in again. And this they is Brent, right on top of Brent just trip. being a cool customer. As yep. always, he knows he's up against elimination. He knows where he's at. He's probably feeling still confident in this match, knowing he's just two wins away. Even though Pax is playing great, you still got to feel that, hey, I'm right here. It's still my oh, yeah. match to win, you know. Dom says Brent needs equals danger on the 13. I agree. He, he proved that in his uh, opening round versus Howard Hill as he threw a uh, – through an excellent game, Howard did fight back with a, I think he one did. or two one forties, yeah. but it was uh, it was eighty to seventy eight. Yeah, it was. And uh, Brent took the eighty. Yeah, yeah, he went single eighteen for a start, single eighteen, triple twelve, double thirteen, I believe. Yeah, it was. Insane. Check that math. <laughs> <laughs> Fifty four to leave thirty two, so he's gonna have Great at look. least three darts at thirty two. All he needs is one, most likely. The way he's been playing at it, but you never know. A 180. This could be the 23rd 180 of the night right here. I know Josh and Katie are both patiently waiting for one 180 number 23. Oh, yeah. Although I know it's going to go over that. Yeah, with the final and the, yeah. the way that these two players and, and, and Chris just waiting on that final. So here we go, 13 inside, tied up 5-5. Five, five. Who you got, 13 inside, throw it out there. Who's going to do it? Let's this hear it. Pax or Meatball, they both played great. They both had a great run today. Who's going to get to the finals? Who's going to win this game? To play Chris Swanson. Let's hear it. Pax stuffs one right into the bullseye. Meatball takes a look, see which way he wants to tee it up. Was somebody knocking? Rocky says Brent. So here we go. We got a couple picks coming in, a couple for Brent so far.
Max did win the diddle, though, and he's going to start with 45. It may not seem like much, but going first on this board, one extra dart could be an advantage. One extra info especially is an advantage. So Brian Henry says, let's go, Pax. Meatball was excellent. Thanks, Josh. Excellent on this triple 20 in the in this first time on this board against Howard Hill in round number one, I believe. We will have a small break before the finals too, so we'll let you know that uh, we're gonna we're gonna run this game out. They'll probably take a, just a couple of minutes getting them ready, but we'll probably have a five to seven minute break between this game and the final. Yeah, what's up, Stuart, and what's up, Josh? Thanks for the likes out there. Yeah, thanks for plugging in on the votes too, guys. So it looks like a couple of brands. It looks like a packs in there, and yeah, it looks like it's going back and forth with some of these picks. Big turn for Pax right here. Yeah. Could create some separation. I mean, is it Wu-Tang Clan down there? It sure is. Cash the rules Wu everything around me going yep. on. How can you not throw smoke? Dollar, dollar bill, y'all. One of the classics being played for sure. What's Benny up, Smith. Benson? What's going on, Benny Smith? Hope you're having a good night out there, Benny. I agree. Brian says first one to start finding that triple is going to be huge. Yeah, I agree Especially with that. these guys haven't played very many games where they haven't been all over the triple. These guys have hit They've questionably the most triples. It. Pax might have the most trip 20s of oh, anyone tonight. I agree. Yeah. And he's moving today, too. I'll tell you, you know, Pax always really chill, and he looks like he's ready to play some hoops today. He does. He's moving yeah. around. He's got he pep is. in his step. I said he's finding a triple in this round. Doesn't so. Doesn't find one. Little bit of a little bit of a break opportunity for Brent, if you will. So this is gonna be huge right here. It's a lot of pressure on this game. It's a big swing. It's guaranteed a $200 pay jump for that matter. And then on top of that, it could be up to a $650 pay jump. Yeah. And plus it's you get more line. darts at the crack of the nine darter, which we've seen uh, at least five games today that started with the 180. We haven't had more than dart four. I believe four darts is the most we've seen. I agree. Kind of an awkward spot for a break here, but I don't know. They might have some equipment issues or something. Grabbing a drink. Maybe? Beer issues. But they seem to be replenished. We'll make sure our players are hydrated. Got to keep them hydrated down there. Finds a triple, but it's next door. So only picking up 28 there. See what Meatball does on this turn. Picks up 60. If somebody slaps a 140 in there, they could just almost put it away. I agree. <laughs> Chris clarifies it was a bathroom break. Tough round again. Only picking up 26, so uh, Brent's got a maybe, slight lead here. Yeah, maybe both pressing a little bit in this game. That board is intimidating. And I feel like if one of them hits a big turn, the other one's going to come right back with one as well. Yeah. But if your pack's right here, you, you really can't wait much longer. You have to, you have, to be you right need 100 now. right now. He knows it. And the way he's been playing today, he's got to feel like he's going to hit it. Yeah, the way he's been playing tonight has me surprised at this match. I'm not going to lie. Both of them, really, but just the way uh, how well Brent played on it against Howard. Yeah, and it is. There there's it that is. triple, though. He does find the triple Brings when he needs it, it the most. Brian said the 13-inch seemed to be a little much for Pax in this leg, and he, he hasn't seen this side all day. I don't know how much he, he plays on this face, but 
as accurate as he's been today, I'm surprised. And there it is. They do find triples in back to back rounds. Brent actually finds two. 121. You're still okay if your packs, Brent. though. You, you just you need another triple here. You you need to. Yeah, you definitely need to. You want to get under here. 100. You know, if you could you score 100 round here and get it down to 92, maybe you get one more opportunity at it. Brent from 76 can be dangerous, but it's no gimme on this board. That's a real tough deflection. It is. I mean, it's an out, but it's not a fun one. Sixteen will leave you tops. You got to do it. You could stay on the twenty and leave double eighteen if you want it, I guess. But I think I would go sixteen and go up there for tops. Oh, well, he likes the ladder. <laughs> oh, it gives him a double, double one. one. Charlie Berryhill, thanks for the like, my guy. What's up, Charlie? Hope you're having a good night out there. Well, Pax could just crush all the dreams right here for the beloved Meatball. If he was to check this out, I know Meatball would be pretty disappointed with that unlucky bounce out on the third. So Brent's going to make a trip back to the line. He sure is. You think he'll split that 34? I don't. I don't think he does. Usually, I think he goes right after it. I, I wouldn't. I don't think it's a bad idea, too, but I, I just don't think he's going to. I think he's going to be aggressive. I think he's going to go right at it. What's up, Tim? Thanks for the light. He's going to throw a one right here to leave himself double eight. And he does bust with the, uh, with the single 17. So, Pax is going to have at least... A dart at a double if he finds a triple in this round. He do need a triple to get to a double here. Are you going trip 18 to leave double top? I think you have to. Yeah, you don't want to put yourself on 34, that's for sure. Yeah, I agree. Now you almost have to go 54 here just so you don't have to deal with that deflection, the possible deflection. You could go 42. I mean, 42 leaves he does 32. He some options. We'll see what he does. Sixteen, leave it on 40, and you hope for a mistake. These are weird numbers, 34. They are. Now Brent has to kind of, in the back of his mind, wonder should he split it. You can't go black, 17. There's a lot of things he's got to – he went to split it. He did. He was going for the two. And he's wow. not even going to get a dart at a double. So, and he's back to 34. So this, through everything that's happened, wow. Pax is going to come back up at the line with three darts, needing double 20 to get to the finals. Thanks to that 34. And this shows you this 13 inside yeah. how it could be because these guys have lit it up today. They have. Double 10, one dart, and he gets it. Got it. That's a huge shot by Pax. What a shot so we did hear Pax. a little emotion there, yeah. a little bit of a yell. That was a great shot. That was a great. That was match an excellent shot. Both so we should see a heck of a final as we're oh, going to yeah. see Chris Swanson face off with Pax, and we will be back. Just take a couple of minute break here. We're going to get up and uh, find out what's going on. Get this. Get this set up. We'll be. We'll be back rocking in uh, less than five. Yes, we will. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Stay guys. Tuned. Stay tuned.
do it. We're back. What up, everyone? Figure we better eat our chicken wings on break. We didn't want to be chomping in, uh, chomping in you guys' ears. So yes. Quick break to uh, eat something. Chris has uh, got the players all back to their boards. Ready to go. Looks like Chris found a way to change his shoes real quick. You know the night's almost over when the when the ref takes off his official his official shoes. No creases. <laughs> no creases. <laughs> All right, and Chris Swanson is going to start us off. This is the finals, guys. So let's see. 22, are we going to hit that 23rd 180? Welcome back, Mark says. Thank you, thank you. Will Darts, thanks for the like and share. We appreciate it. All right, and Chris starts off with 83 so here. So 83. No creases in the club, only in our khakis, N not in our, not in our Air Force Ones. We'll, we'll rock some uh, creases in the in the khakis, though. <laughs> At least I did. I was old enough, and and, and uh, for me, that that's. that's uh, hilarious. <laughs> you guys didn't have that. No, it wasn't. I know what the, you're talking about, but the I Dickies didn't, outfits yeah. we wore them all <laughs> in high school. Everybody had them. That's that's how we rock. Look at Chris looking for number 23. And he, and gets, he it. gets it. Why not? So as we see the 23rd 180 of the night. All right, let's hear some predictions. Uh, who do you guys got winning this one? GA recognizes. He said, you already know. <laughs> yep, it was, uh, it was definitely pop popular. The Dickies and the Carhartt for sure. Them cutter creases. So we are coming into, what is that, the three hour mark? A little over three hours? Yep. Closing on three hours and 20 minutes. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Michael Boone recognizes the number. Says Katie wants the 180s to stop right there. I would be happy if they did, but I always like to see them. Pax, so. however, that's another story. He don't want to yeah. stop as he finds a first start triple. Let's remember to get that hat out for Michael now that we see his name, too. Yes. To remember. You did say large, extra large, right, Michael, for that hat, right? Make sure I grab that before we leave. We're back keeping the stash here at the club. Just it's a little easier with uh, everybody's schedules and uh, locally. I love how Chris chimed in. One more. <laughs> did Chris go with 24? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> he probably he did. Must have. <laughs> he did say confirm large, extra large. So, okay, we'll get you uh, out. Have Katie grab that with her today. Large, extra large, and not on Monday. Yep. Ooh, Ooh. I was just getting ready to say Kobe. So, <laughs> that would have been yeah. fucking epic. <laughs> I swear I you thought that was going in. You still have a chance to say it. I thought that was going in. I feel like this is going out, actually, speaking of going. Oh, yeah. Yep. And he does just that, so one nothing, Chris. Great shot from Chris. Great Your game packs there. don't sweat it. You were right behind him on and out, and uh, he went first. So. All right, let's see what Pax does here. Swanee, even with the comment on that. Monday is league night, he says. <clears throat> nice. Where do you play out of, Michael Boone? You play soft tip, steel tip. Might be rabbit. Our area's got a lot of rabbit, yeah. That's why I figured. <clears throat> As you said, it's Westland, right? He's Westland. Yeah, he works in Westland. I'm sure he probably doesn't live too far. And he says Pax winning. I tell you what, <clears throat> Pax has gave him. His, he's kept himself in every match he's been in, so I he don't has. see any reason why he won't be in this one, all the way to the finish. He does play. Uh, it is Rabbit League, the soft tip two man in Livonia. Nice. I was up there on a Monday night. You were probably there, and I didn't even know it. Watching a couple of my friends play. That's a perfect first start from Chris. It sure is. Oh, just high on the third. Good round. So, Buck 80 will leave 157.
That's a great first star for Pax. Still not too bad, though, picking up 81. Chris said Pax doesn't like the Barry Sanders eyeballing him. I love it. <laughs> That's the classic fat ad. That's been here through all the looks. Stay right there. Maybe we'll bowl. I doubt it, but yeah. Nice pick on the third. Picking up 140. Shooting a 40. Chris is uh on point right now. So yeah. about a 112, was it? 112 to start the opening leg here, yeah. He's got to look at a 140. And his day started hard. His first opponent in the day was J.J. Carpenter. Yeah. I mean, that's, yeah. no, that's not exactly an easy task. I mean, Definitely not. And J.J. coming off a win, too, where he played really well against Day Day. Yeah, big 6-1. Uh, yeah. Big scoring, too. A couple of, you know. So he does exactly what you're supposed to do there and just sets that up nicely. Now Pax is going to have to follow suit and want to go three-figured score here. That's a great way to start great it with the triple. Start. One more triple to leave it. Just high. So, so 116 if he does if he catch, cr look. catch Chris with the hiccup, but he has closed really well on this number all night long. Michael says his partner over there in that league is Big John. So two two games to nothing, Swanee. Pax just gonna want to look to get right back to what you've been doing all night long. Just go ahead and throw, keep cr cracking them trip twenties and hit that double if it comes up. Yeah, another great round there. Then you probably were there because I did say hi to Big John. Small world. Classic. G.A. says that that's Barry's basement. Darts are just played in it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I look at Barry, too, because I'm a southpaw, so I always see him on the wall when I'm down there. It's actually the second version of it, too. I had an ori original fathead, and then he was coming to do a signing, Barry was, and my buddy's like, you should get your fathead signed. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to get a whole new one because I tried going up there, and it was like, they stick into the yeah, guy in front of me so and I'm hard. standing in there. Yeah. It's like, I was like, excuse me. It's like stuck to him. So I went and uh, went and got the roll, the brand new one on the roll. And uh, it was a cool experience going to, to meet Barry that day. And uh, cool story with that. Josh had the pleasure of meeting him as well. Yeah, he was super late and everything. He come in with his kid. And there was like so many people in line. Me and my buddy Chris Ball, we, we were... I don't know. We were probably about 35th or so in line. We'd been there for a couple hours. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> Just waiting. When he came around the corner, though. But Barry was so cool. We got up there. He was, like, shuffling everybody through. And it was, ironically, if, if you've seen the picture where I'm shaking his hand, same our shirt. shirt looks the same. Yeah. yeah. So I think that's why he talked to yeah. us. He was like, hey. Guys got the and, style. Yeah, he kept, uh, he kept. He took pictures with us. He wasn't taking pics. So it just happened to work out. It was a lucky day to wear my uh, my Thomas Pink that's shirt. That's awesome. So. <laughs> So Paxton with the top hundred there, but Chris probably an advantage here. If I think he, uh, he's got a slight advantage right now for sure. Especially if he finds a triple in this round, and if he finds two, he's in real good shape. Great first start, and he switched. Picks up one hundred one. You want to get to an out here. 140 is the only way to do it. Well, 180 obviously too, but basically trying to say 100 wouldn't have. Only picking up 55. Chris is just dialed in. As I say that, he snags two singles on the wire. And sometimes at late in the final, it could sink in a little. I mean, not that these guys are over-pressured by it, but it, it is almost a $500 match. It, yeah. If they didn't split, it's 300 for second, and it's four seven fifty for first. So. Yeah. And 
Pax it, can really take advantage here and give himself the first look at an out. Lands on a bogey number, though. And he knows it. Oh, we're going to have to back that up there. So Chris, undisturbed, just going to stay focused. Nineteen here, most likely. And Great he catches shot. the triple. That's huge. Great shot from Chris there. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in tonight. We appreciate you guys. That sounds like a heck of a piece you got there. GA with the Oklahoma State jersey sign. Nice. The Holiday Bowl five touchdown special. Yeah, it was good. Barry does a bunch of signings. He's uh, <clears throat> just so you know, in this area, he's basically he really he's like basically be the Michael Jordan. Yeah, of signings, he's a legend. You know what I mean? Yes. Like, uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, you pull up. So Swanson halfway home. Yeah, three zero. Looking good. Pax yet to find the form we've seen all day from him. Let's see if he can settle down and do what he's been doing. There's that dart, that nice flat flight he's looking for, just <clears throat> crushing it into there. Big pick on the third. Wish you guys could see the uh, <clears throat> that new dart case in the background. It's on, it's on the wall off to the side there, but. Yeah, when you do the aerial view, you can kind of see it. I almost feels like you should be able to. It's so close, like I know, because we know it's right where it is. Right yeah. there. Nice start from Chris there. Yeah, if, if you're Chris right now, you do one thing. You throttle. You know, you see that you're, you've got the 3-0 lead. Pax is starting to hit his little bit of a rhythm here, starting to get back on his trip 20. Just don't let, don't give him any reason to get confident and get back in this match. Just keep your foot on the throat and just go for it. Close the match out. Because Pax has played good enough today. If you let him sneak one or two back, he's he's going to come right back in his game. And next thing you know, you'll find yourself maybe on that 13 inside playing one game for basically 500 bucks. Oh, yeah. And Chris does just what he's supposed to do with another 140, averaging over 46 points per dart. Does he? <clears throat> does he have a look at the nine darter right now? <clears throat> oh, no. He's only no. at 140. Yep. Uh, and there's a ton 80. There goes my 23. And 18. So we've officially hit the 24 mark. Are we going to see 25? We have a Bob Probert number. Brent says he's feeling a little better out there now. Oh, he was trying to split it both yeah. times. Yeah. And it can get it can get that way, you know. It can uh, the split isn't always the right way to do it, but we did see it work out really nice for JJ twice today. Yeah, when, he did. When it was pressure shots, oh, too. Yeah. JJ was uh, confirming that he was only going to be able to get one dart at a double, but he was two for two in those situations. He was. And, he did and, great. You know, so it's you know each player can play it a little differently, but thought I seen lights out there. I think it's just day -day. the computer. Oh, it's day day. Yeah. Double look 12. at Chris, his his setups are wow. just wow, and that looked good too. He got <laughs> it looked real good. Yeah, I, his his triple setups just just on point right now. The way same way Howard was, uh, even though it didn't equate to him getting through that match. Howard hit how many times did Howard hit I that agree. first dart triple to give himself a dart to get out of there? Yeah, it almost seems like he has a similar uh, throw like Howard when it comes to that. Seventeen here. 51 leaves double eight, single 17 will leave you a dart at the bull. You have to feel like it's not coming back. Got to look at it. Yeah. I like it. I like it. He threw a pretty good dart. He maybe rushed that third one a little bit, but. I agree, GA. He was my favorite. 
Uh, not only because he was left-handed, but also because he was a big fighter. Great shot from so Chris. So Chris jumps out with a 4-0 here. He is rolling. You're talking about the 127 out. Pax was wondering if there was another way to do it. Chris was just saying that that was probably the smartest way to do it with him sitting on 24. Guaranteed to at least have one dart at a double, even if it is the bullseye. Because one dart at a double obviously is much better than zero darts at a double. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. <laughs> so I'm going to go with right way to go. 17. Oh, shit. Got it? trap everything to my leg. <laughs> 140. So Chris is motoring here. Love you too, GA. When he went to Chicago, Darren McCarty became my next favorite. So, again, southpaw and a fighter. They all have a little something in common. <laughs> <laughs> Southpaw, not necessary fighter, though, you know. <laughs> Let's see if uh, another buck 40. It gets 100. Shooting a solid 40 right now. So pa Pax a southpaw that needs to get to fighting he right sure here. Is. If he's going to make a run in this match, he, he's going to want to start throwing some blows. I did see that empty Seagram's bottle on the top of the trash when I took our plates out there. <laughs> so you? he's out of Seagram's. Yeah, there's oh, a pint okay. bottle yeah. right on top. Yeah. <laughs> Ta I was tops like, it no. off. <laughs> the spinach, you know, Popeye. Oh, yeah. Chris just looks really comfortable in this fight. Very comfortable. Another 140. <clears throat> I mean, look at his average. He's, he's doubled up. Literally, exactly yeah. doubled up. He shot well all night. Pax did too. Uh, yeah, these pa guys deserve Pax to be in the, in the spot. He's supposed to be right where he's at. He, he's just, he's just, uh, he's getting a little outperformed here in the final. But he has fought. He didn't have uh, anything easy about his night. He started off with Kim Wallace, who we saw play outstanding against Danny Garn in the opening round, and then he, then he faced Meatball on the all the way to the 13 inside, yeah. and, and here he is. Uh, he's catching the hands a little bit from uh, from Swanee right now, but Swanson's literally not missing at all i mean wow. look and he's like that's how you do 12 it, dart out on the bull and on the hill what a you night know, for chris it's unbelievable we didn't clip anything today i know i didn't oh, even think of it 24 180 i didn't even think clip of one. it i didn't either right but we gotta i forget we could starting to feed that new system josh made for the uh background mm -hmm. yeah which is fine we got a lot of stuff coming up but it, it's always fun clips in the uh if we get any here we like to get packs with one that might have been the out that just kind of deflated him there i think You're going out on that double bowl oh yeah i mean packs at this point has got to feel like man you got to win six in a row this guy just threw a 42 f the first five games in a row I will say though that this uh it looks like my number two choice in my draft is gonna take it home today. This was Chris was my second pick and nice. uh I'm just pointing that out because I know Chris. the refs down there listening. <laughs> it is heads up because he did have packs on his squad, so we both had a chance to win here. Oh, that's great. Mm hmm Just falling into the one there. So if Chris wins this game, we won't see the nine darter tonight because it's already too late for him to do that here, and he's up 5-0. I think we saw a couple of the players hit four. Yeah. That's about the best I, I think remember, it was right? May, may, I, I don't even know if J we saw J the fifth. I know fifth. JJ. Yeah, JJ hit four. I feel like Pax hit the four. 
Pax probably did, yeah. And Chris may have, Chris may have hit four as well. So uh, there was uh, four was definitely hit. I agree, GA. Chris has definitely been in the zone, especially this match. Yeah. And he has some winning experience with, you know, Master State Championships under oh, his yeah. belt at his young age, learning how to. He's always playing know, singles yeah. at the tournaments he's at. Yeah, he, he plays well in singles, too. So, and. and um, Steel Tipper as well. Just can't miss that trip 20. That double double nine darter is a little tougher. But it can be done. Nice round from Pax right there. I think the closest we've seen somebody in a grudge series was when Jermaine came out for the doubles. He did hit the front six. Okay. He, he yeah. went one sixty, one eighty. I don't think Didn't it, he have a couple looks at it? Well he had a couple one sixties, but he only backed it up once with the one eighty, I believe. Okay. Look at this, and he he tops it with a one three eight on top of that, just throwing straight smoke. It ain't even it feels like an average should be higher than the thirty eight. I agree. I looked. And I, I was like, wow, I, I it's just too, a thirty eight. Yeah. yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> All right, double twenty to take home the win and uh, skunk him the dart, six zero. The dart. He's pretty much hit best all night. All night. He has not missed this dart at all. That's adrenaline. Here it comes, you would think. Yep. And he bounces back. So, heck of a finals there. A by, finals. Maybe Pax seemed to run out of gas a little bit, but Chris was just in buzzsaw mode. And I would say hats off to both players, man. Heck of a run. Some great darts from both of them. I agree. Uh, excellent, excellent performance, especially in the finals by Chris. But all day long, taking out, uh, what was it, J.J. Carpenter in the opening round and then and then gets through Tom Keller and then through Pax in a final. So. Oh, yeah. Great round from both of them. Chris with some excellent play. That was uh, that was good stuff. And uh, both, of them, both of them really put on a good performance. Yeah, so. Both deserve to be here. And uh, Chris was just tuned in the whole we'll time. We'll have to look back and see who commented that Chris Swanson. I don't know how many people yeah, had 24. him Yeah, 24. Yeah, Chris Swanson, 24, 180. So we will look that up. But We'll see who gets it. The, uh, was it five free entries? Five free entries, yeah. If somebody does have Swanson down there, and if they're especially if they're the only person, it won't even matter how many ton 80s they pick. But if there's more than one person, I find we'll we'll break it down to the tie break. So sounds good. So hats off to these guys, and congrats again to Chris Swanson yep. on getting the win tonight. And we're gonna shut it down in here just so we could say good night to the players because a lot of times they get out of here kind of quick. So I know there's still 50 of that hung out. So we appreciate really appreciate you guys, you guys and. Uh, day off tomorrow to celebrate little man's birthday and get it done but we will be back at it on monday as we'll bring you uh paul otto and jerry frazier pulling up and uh next wednesday we also have ron otto facing with state farm both those are in our grudge series so those should be good watches as uh the players all now face elimination you lose you're out so make sure to tune in for that and thanks for spending your saturday with us here the last three and a half hours or so and uh we're going to go get these guys up out of here and uh, get this place under control. Yeah, thanks, guys. We will see you Monday. Have a good weekend.